What's up guys and gals, it's your boy Jeff, aka the Cantonese Comic Kid, aka the Jeff Arella, aka the Cantonese Comic King. What? Well, what's up VV? VV's in the chat. And then uh, I have a guest today actually, I have Lady Fantastic with me. So, give me one second. What's up Lady? How's it going? What's up? What's up? Hope Not you're doing much. well. Yes I am. Did you go hunting today? I did. I did go hunting today. Um, Ooh. Yeah, I can show you. I can show you some stuff. So, man, I found this. Uh, this was in the 50 cent bin. This nice. is a variant. Nice. Is, yeah, Marvel variant, and it's of the Hulk, the Fallen, number one. Nice. Like, I just found all these fun things. This is a variant. X Men ninety two, nice. um, variant edition number three. What's up, MLB Comics? So, oh, uh, I got, uh, I found Javi some. Ooh. Well, uh, I found this. I found a Red Sonia. Ooh. Um, Red Sonia number twelve. Uh, but I think this is from like the third or fourth volume. Oh, okay. Um, and then I found, uh, Conan the King. I found wow. like five of these and I'm going to give them all to uh Javi. These are Mike Kaluta. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah, that's I can see the Mike Kaluta the signature there too. Kaluta yeah, that's the sig. So, um it's just beautiful. Like nice. I just love the artwork. Um that's 26. Nice. It's just killer, you know. Um Like, nice. wicked, huh? Mm -hmm. I know. It's just stunning. Um, and that skips to 28. They are 29. They didn't nice. have a issue 28. And then... Um, <laughs> VV goes lucky happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, 30. But yeah, I found all of these um, in the 50 cent bin. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, I got to grab these for Hobby. He... Yeah. Yeah. He's so, gonna love them. Yeah, I hope that's what so. I hope so, hope so. And then um I found Battle of the Planets. Like this was in the fifty cent bin, y'all. Nice. I know. And that's Alex Ross too. Yep. Alex Ross. And and if if you need if you're gonna use books for auction, I would keep that one for an auction book. I'm uh, giving you heads up, so Okay. Yeah, um, if if you're gonna if, not give it to somebody, but hold on just yeah, a second. I feel like I good. have a spike in my hair, and how to fix my spike? <laughs> um, <laughs> I found this. This was in the fifty cent bin, so I grabbed wow. it. Um, not everybody's taste. Look at this. Right, that was in the fifty cent bin. Yes. Hmm. Yes. It is in crappy condition, mm -hmm. but I don't care. Freaking Hulk 253. I needed this one, too. <laughs> Look, yeah. MLV has, has this to say. <laughs> Bro, I found this in the 50 cent bin. Come down to Nashville. I'll mm -hmm. tell you the places. Yeah. Uh, that... Found this in the 50 cent bin. Wow. Bill, Bill Sienkiewicz Thor 332. Mm -hmm. Vampires, baby. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a, a Robert cover if I ever seen one. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, this one, uh, Dazzler Ten, mm. Galactus. And then these I got in the back issue bins. I got Shuri number nine. The nice. Yeah, and number ten because I needed those last two. So now right. I have the whole have the whole Shuri run. Mm. Nice. And I picked up. Um, Amazing right. Spider-Man and Silk number mm. one. Nice. And um, I got Silk mm. uh, number eight. Uh, Yasmin Putri, and I just I love this one. I think it was awesome. So nice. Those are my pickups for the day. Yep. I didn't pick up much. I didn't. I didn't do much. Hold on. Let me get your box. I'll show. I packed up just Vampirellas. Yeah. <laughs> So they're going out tomorrow. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Oh. But they'll make them. 
hope they'll, they'll make it nice, uh, safe and sound. They will. <laughs> Uh, that, at least it doesn't fit in a mailbox, so they they can't actually jam it in my mailbox. So. <laughs> yeah, they should. I mean, do you live in an apartment or? No, no, I live at a house, so they'll just drop it off on the front porch at least. Yeah, if they it's the, If it's the normal mail guy, but if it's not the normal mail guy, I'm worried. But if it, <laughs> you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I packed it well. Yeah. So, it should be good, man. You wish you had bins. Do you guys not have bins? Uh, yeah. In and I don't think he does have bins in Austria, but he can still get some books for at least cover price, like the Alex Ross, what was it, the Alex Ross Vampirella butt shot one <laughs> that he okay. got for cover price, and that thing was, in the States, it's like almost 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I'm trying to think, like, so what is the ch what is the cheapest outlet, um, hey, what's up, G-Man, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I could show you, I have a little stack of stuff that I found for G-Man recently, mm -hmm. I could show, um, more that I have to add to his pile, but uh, <laughs> I got him. I, I found this, and so I was like, I got to give that to G-Man because he yeah, Morbius. Yeah, well, and he does the Marvel Tales, and this is yeah. a two fifty two or later. Not one. only that, yeah, two things: Marvel Tales and it's a Morbius. So that that's a that's a two banger for for <laughs> and a newsstand. Boom. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and uh, he had wanted me to pick up Marvel Sagas where I saw them, mm -hmm. so I picked up one of those. And, uh, oh, damn, I found this. Um, uh, the Crow Dead Time, one of three. Good, good idea. Yeah, I know he's lo he loves the Crow stuff, so yeah. And it's, uh, oh, shit, sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. It's Kitchen Sink. Ooh. Kitchen Sink Comics. That's cool. That, yeah. And that, those are the early ones, too. That's That was 1995. Yeah. Um. I found Hellraiser 18. Um, I accidentally screwed up and got him a double nope. of it. So don't, now don't worry about doubles. Don't worry about that because he's he gets himself four copies of something. So, yeah, <laughs> you're good. And then uh, this Hellraiser 20 I thought was really cool because it's got the box on it. Mm. She's working. And there's this, like, Hellraiser chick. It's like, what yeah. the hell? He's so, going gonna to love it no matter what it is. If yeah, it's Hellraiser, yeah, it's it's it, yeah. So he's gonna love it no matter he's what. He's a it Hellraiser, is. dude. He is yeah. a Hellraiser. G Man is a Hellraiser. <laughs> it's true. Yep. <laughs> no worries, G Man. So that's all I got. Mm-hmm. Didn't get I didn't get much, just got this art book this week. I mean I got other books, but the major thing I was waiting for for all month or all, all almost since last year, of August of last year. You said you I heard you talking about it because you were saying that like you thought that the paper quality wasn't that great. That no, could... no. If you look at other, if you look at other books they uh, that they released, other art books they released, this this paper quality is uh, straight straight crap. You think? Yeah, it's thin. It's thin. It's really thin compared to you know thicker paper. Like yeah. Was, uh, they like using thicker paper. I don't. I don't like it because it's way too thin. Like it, it when you flip through it, and then if you accidentally bend the page it's gonna tear the page because that's so it can wear easily yeah so imagine if you kept on looking through it you know what i mean it's it's gonna tear the page tear the pages up nice yep stuff like that yep i'm making i'm making yeah i'm gonna be making you work for 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 robert for sure because he's gonna be looking for a bunch of these <laughs> those are badass yeah th these are all tars tor yeah. Tarzans he's did, he done. Perugles those are done. hard to find, bro. Yep, yep. I don't ever then, see those, man. Yeah, and then pirates. Yeah. Like zo zombies and stuff like that. Vampirellas, you know, all the stuff he's done. G man, he's do you have like, any of the Perillo, um, the Perillo, uh, Tarzans? Those are the ones I just know that they're like so hard to. I, I don't think I've yeah. ever seen those out. No, in the no. Wild, like nope. ever. Those are hard, and then even the. Even his early stuff, any of his early early works, it's hard to find. Like really early, like when he first got in, like early. Those are hard to find. But I actually found this one. I actually have this cover. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's issue 77 of Red Sonia, She-Devil with a Sword. Yeah, so that's uh, issue 77. So anything that's uh, upper number, like la like a last issue, is hard to find for Perillo. It, yeah. Anything early is it's low. Anything early, it's a low printed. Yeah. So, 
pretty much any and and then this is an expensive so if you ever wanted Perillo covers i would recommend you guys pick up this book so you have all of them in in, in one yeah like this is an expensive cover and then this is the one that everybody wants that john's comics with kids uh, has been eyeing <laughs> yeah i've been i uh i have it and signed by him so <laughs> More stuff I found here. this thing in the 50 cent bin. Ooh. It's a. Uh, Let's see. This uh, Marvel backlist reading chronology. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. And so it says all new Marvel backlist reading chronology, uh, almost 100 pages of chronologues or chronologies uh, dedicated to Marvel's best comics. Follow your favorite series or characters with the handy reference. Suggested reading orders for collected editions of Avengers, Iron Man, Captain America, da 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 da. Um, creator credits, content listings, and order information included. Marvel stock of in print collected editions organized in a fun nice. way. Isn't that wild? And then, yeah. like, I went to a page, like, um, wow. Oh, so, so like it, it tells you the chronological order to read everything in. That's cool. Yeah. So, like, you have, like, Daredevil gives you the orders. And then if you wanted Thor, here's some Thors. Nice. Yeah. I just thought it was in the 50 Cent bin. But I had never seen this before, and it looks like it was free. Because That's cool. I know. Yep. And then, oh. And then one of the books you're sending me it actually has a first appearance of a character in it. Which one? The Vampirella seventy three. You, you, you in in that box. Okay. Yeah, and I I went I went looking. I'm like, oh, it's and it, and the funny thing is the character is a is a racist type character because it's a on, on a racist Asian character. What? Well, oh. Because it's it's called Tan Tan Chi. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm laughing so hard. I'm like, ooh, that's funny. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, and that, but some of this, like, like this book, gives me a lot of information. And then I went researching, like, like looking up some of the stuff, like, like CGC. They, CGC doesn't even tell you on the label the some of this stuff. Yeah, it's weird. CGC seems kind of like pick and choose on what right. kind of info they decide that they're right. gonna put on. I like the one, one, the book I shared today, issue ninety six of this run. P like I was share like you like the you like the post everybody liked the post but I shared it but somebody got actually gypped in recognizing this art this artist this artist wasn't it wasn't Ingridge it was uh it was Joel Largon We Largon yeah I think that's how the last name is Joel Largon We and he's an Australian artist hmm. that he got he got gypped twice. He got chipped on issue 39. He did some interior work, and uh, Ken Kelly got the credit for it. And then this this cover, issue 96, Ingridge got the c c cover for Ingridge got the credit for it, and it's it's printed in the book. Bro, that's uh, funny. Yeah. See, so like that's funny information that people don't know. So it's it's fun. It's fun. And Randall's in the building. What's up, Randall? Hey. hey. Oh, going? hey. What's up, Randall? What what you been up to this week, Randall? What you uh, how's ordering stuff been? Um, orders were pretty smooth this week. Um, nothing too any, big. Any damages? Uh, no, not too much. Not too much. Small amount. You know, mm -hmm. um, UCS is a far superior. Um, right, but any damages from the other one? <laughs> oh, even if there are, I'm not calling them in. I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm not playing Diamond's game anymore. See, Diamond right. wants you to call them in damage. So right. they can send another two, three comic books in the box and charge you twenty bucks for shipping. Right. Um, it's not worth it. It's not but, worth it. I, oh, I'd rather you know, I'd rather keep a damaged book than call in another book and spend way more than I should for for nothing. Like I can go to a comic book store, pay full price right. for that book, right. and it's cheaper than me getting a discount on the book and paying the shipping with Diamond. Hey, yep. Hey, yep. Gray man's in the Gray chat. Comma comics on the low. And Vigilante again. <laughs> and Robert. What's up, everybody? Yeah. 
Pretty much, I've been put. You you saw all my posts so far this, this week. I've been posting a bunch of Vampirella stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since it's Halloween anyway, so I've, I'm just posting information on them and letting people know like cool information about the books. That's yeah. why I like buying these. That's why I always like buying these things. I am curious. To, oh yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I am curious yeah. though, Jeff. Like, who? I mean, I forget who your second favorite character is because I know Vampirella is your favorite character. Lady Death, second one. Lady uh, Don, Don's the third, and then, I mean, I, I like, uh, like, like, um, ninety likes to say, I have a, you know, I have a Mount Rushmore pretty much, pretty much yeah. that's my Mount Mount Rushmore characters, and then I got a secondary Mount Rushmore, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sing she, Howard the Duck, you know, Man Thing, Swamp Thing, so yeah, so yeah, trust me, that's I got, good. I got, that's good. yeah, because yeah. so, sometimes I just think, man, like, what would happen? God forbid, you know, like Dynamite's like, oh, we're canceling uh, Vampirella or Don Vampirella. Right. No one can I'll, Vampirella. I'll see if they wanna if they wanna give me the rights to it. <laughs> I'll take the rights for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take the rights. Love, uh, Vampirella having sex with cows, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I showed the book last night. <laughs> There'd be a special variant where Vampir Vampirella is working at a comic book store, <laughs> and it's just Jeff talking to Vampirella for like. Six hours. <laughs> that happens. That's yeah. gonna happen probably. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But no, uh, but like I had an idea for a Vampirella like cover in jail. Like I had an idea for if if I ever got you know got the money to actually do a cover for her, it would yeah. be her, her probably on a throne and then like maybe like White Tiger like it, I, I've seen it on an Emma Frost cover but maybe like White Wolves next to okay. her at uh, like. Like sitting, like she's sitting in the throne, and white wolves next to her, so a white dra like, or a dragon or something, so something interesting, yeah. like sitting next to yeah. her, like sitting next that's to her cool, and stuff. Man. Yeah, that's one of the ideas of a cover that I want, and I might have a uh, art chemist or one of the guys that in the community do it of when I get, get the like, money. You should get like a girl that cosplays as Vampirella, and um, have her like do a TikTok dancing video. I've I've know a couple of them. <laughs> I have there you go. Of... Suggest the idea. Watch it become yeah. popular, and then you can tell everybody like, "Hey, this is uh, it's popular yeah. because it was my idea." Mm -hmm. Because the whole reason is to get people more into those Warren magazines is to get more interest in them. Because I don't want those Warren Warrens to actually die out. You know what I mean? Or not get not have enough. You know. People are interested because the art in there is great, man. Like this well, Jose Gomez. Are you talking art. about like the graphic novels? No, no, the. Not just the graphic novels, just just the. Uh, How about the older you know, books? The older books, because I want to get more people into the older books. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I mean. So there I don't already know, are. I don't know if buying out's the correct term you want to use because yeah. you know those, those books are already made. They're already like. Right, right. I don't think they're going to disappear. They're going to be out right. there. Um. So I wouldn't worry right. about those, man. Like, yeah. but I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Like, you want to get more people. You want to build the fandom. You want to build the fandom. You want to create more Vampirella fans. <laughs> Jeff note, <laughs> Diamond has great success with the Elvira Kickstarter. I hope that would help. Yeah, man, I, I you know Elvira is a classic too. You know. Yeah, they did uh, Jeff knows. <laughs> you know, you know what? If Jeff just uh, if he did save his money instead of spending for all that money on the OnlyFans, he will have the money to buy the Vampirella rights. I think. I think. I'm mm -hmm. just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're no, good. Cool. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Uh, we're just, okay, you know, here's a fun game. Here's a fun game. You own the rights to Vampirella, Jeff. Okay. Who's your dream team? Who are you going to get the right and draw Vampirella? Okay. Uh, rights to draw Vampirella. Let's see. I wouldn't mind seeing... Uh, have we have a Mike Zek? I don't think we had a Mike Zek one yet. A Mike Zek cover yet. Or inside interior of a okay. Vampirella book. I wouldn't mind seeing a Mike Zek. George you know Mike Zek? Yeah, well, George Perez, George Perez would be cool, but he's retired. George, oh, already, of but... course, George. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting. To I, see I know. George I know Perez. for a fact George loves drawing sexy ladies, so yeah, he, so, he'd, yeah. he'd have fun doing that. I, I'm not even sure if there's any George Perez Vampirella cover. I need to look that up. Um, I don't think there's anything by George Perez. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, George Perez. So then, then uh, who who would you have writing it? Writing it. Hmm. Todd McFarlane. Well, look, Godfather's here. Hey guys. Yeah. Uh, I would have writing it, 
hmm, so not, man. not not McFarlane, but I would have. Uh, let's see who. Rob Liefeld. No. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to think of a I writer that excited. I'm getting a Claremont a signature book in the mail. That's cool. I'll, I'll show you probably oh. end of next week. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah, thinking yeah. about like who would I have write him? Hmm. Actually, Jeff, I wouldn't mind seeing Jeff Johns writer. It would be kind of yeah, be, yeah. yeah it'd be kind of interesting to see Jeff Johns. Let's see. Got oh, Donny Cates. Yeah, Donny Cates would be kind of fun to get, to get a writer. Yeah, yeah. kind of. You know how hot. But you know how you know how hot that book is gonna get if he, he would take Nebula into space. That's what he yeah. would do. Is He'd it, take Nebula into space to uh, an alien she world. She is from space. She's from space. Yeah. She's from uh, yeah. the, the Dracula. Probably do like Vampire so. on Mars. <laughs> I think and they did. Uh, Didn't they do a crossover with Vampirella and John Carter? I think. Yeah, yeah not John Carter. Uh, da, um, um, Deja Thoris. No, Deja not Thoris. Carter, but oh, yeah, Deja, Deja Thoris, Thoris, though. Yeah, but, yeah it's the yeah. same thing, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'd like to what? see, um, like Kelly Sue DeConnick or G. Willow Wilson do like mm. one of those characters to see what they did with it. Just be cool. Yeah. Uh, Matt, Matt, ah, Matt Fraction would be kind of interesting, too. Matt Fraction. Oh, Matt Fraction. Yeah. Um, Jason Aaron or Jeff Lemire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe a so, Brian K. Vaughn, like you know, get oh, something yeah. like Brian, Brian K. Vaughn, and then uh, yeah, maybe uh, Brian um, K. Vaughn, and then same the same team as uh, Saga write it. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. Fiona Staples. Or if you could like a Blue Baker or yeah. um, Hickman on it, they'd make it just like epic or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the writing, the writers uh, back then weren't bad either, man. I read some of the stuff. Or, well, not that, uh, not that bad. <laughs> and, oh, I, I mean, it's all subjective. I, I mean, like, uh, yeah. I, I never had a chance to, mm-hmm. to like really read a lot of them. Um, yeah. I'm sure I will one day. I mean, like, my my goal is just to, to have a big house turned into a comic book library where I'm just surrounded by comic books, and then my goal is to just sit there and go through every one of the comic books. Yeah. That's my That's man I... right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My man cave is like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to get off of here because I'm going to I'm going to eat you later. It. But See thanks you later. for having me on. Lady. Always, always happen to, always happy you. to have you. Caroline, thank you so much. Very and no much. Worries. And no I've worries. been shouting you out like crazy. Yeah, we all have. Your love, you're a sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really Don't worry about it, man. You. I appreciate, I, I appreciate all you guys. You're good people. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just try to, you know. Always where you looking out for me. We, always, yeah, always looking out for all of us. I try to put the books <laughs> in the right hands. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, you guys See take you care. Then. Have a good one. See you later. See you later. Night. Good night. Yeah, we, we weren't doing much, man. We were just talking about stuff like if. If Dude, I gotta, lost oh, you're going to get a chance here? Come on, man. Yeah. If I can no, get if, out of here, uh, I'll get yeah. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if, 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 if Dynamite lost, our, like uh, here, uh, Rendo was saying, if Dynamite's lost the rights, who would I get to write Vampirella and draw Vampirella if I bought yeah, the rights to her? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing what, what your idea of would be. <laughs> What's that? Uh, who would you have write and draw Vampirella if you if you got the rights to it? Hmm. You. <laughs> I would. I would write her uh, because. Yeah. You I would know, write. You know her whole story. You know her yeah. whole history. You know yeah. most of the artists that done her work. Yeah. You got. You span a whole slew of her stuff. Right. Why not? I'd rather yeah. have somebody that knows the character. Right. I think you could do it justice. But. You know what? Who would I? I would the new villain. No, not new villain, but one of the villains that nobody knows about is the the, the Ching, Ting, I showed you yesterday the Tang Chi character. Yeah. Have her go to like ha uh, like Hong Kong or China somewhere, like uh, travel over there because uh, he comes to find out that that wizard uh, that wizard it survived the death in seventy three <laughs> uh, <laughs> issue seventy three. I like that. Mhm. There was maybe that's maybe. One that um, I did. Maybe reboot Vampirella and make her sort of like a, like you know, remember in the Highlander movies and the Highlander oh, yeah. series, yeah. And they'd always do like flashbacks of like different yeah. time periods that they're in. So it'd be yeah. cool to see like Vampirella through the different time periods. That'd be so cool. maybe yeah. maybe you could see her fighting Genghis Khan or something like that. Yeah, you know? that would be awesome. Yeah, 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 that'd be cool because she's a, she's a long long lived and she's fifty years old. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, uh, 50, 50 years of history, man. So oh yeah, yeah. Vampirella during, uh, you know, the yeah. 
Civil War, you know, but, or you know, you see well, Vampiro during uh, who would I, who I would have do co- like a couple of covers. I know I would, I know a couple artists I want to do covers, for sure. The Sarah Frizetta, for sure. Uh, right. Frizetta's oh, granddaughter. Yeah. Right, right, for, right, right. If I come out with an issue one, for sure, I, w- I would want her to do the first one. Nice. At least, nice. at least the first issue. So, so the little monster I, grandpa. Just, just for fun, because he can get pretty uh, gory and pr- pretty, pretty bloody. I think for mm-hmm. fun, I would like Garth Ennis. Garth Ennis to oh, run. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The Van well, yeah. Theory. Actually, yeah. Garth Ennis would be kind of cool to see his, his twist on. Since he done the boys, I want to see if, if what type of twist. If I if I told him, oh, hey, yeah. do do a you know I do an adult version of uh, Vampirella, like like adult or not oriented, but like. You know what I mean? Yeah. The story has to flow like, you know, hey, yeah, be, her ripping somebody apart, you know what I mean? Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. You know. Ah, a, a one that Robert would like that I wouldn't mind seeing would be um, your, the guy that did Hellraiser. You said I'm a, oh, John, you said I'm a uh, Clive Barker? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Clive Barker's uh, take on her. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That could be pretty messed up. <laughs> No, but I wouldn't mind seeing it because be we, haven't see, we haven't seen we haven't seen her that way. Did you have but could I, you I, a half centibite or something? Yeah, Ooh. that'd be kind of interesting to see. Taking over all, taking over all, all, the, all, all of those characters. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> or having a fight with all those characters. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd like. Ooh, I'd I would. Like to see, like, I would uh, mind seeing a crossover. That that'd be a cool crossover. Hellraiser. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool crossover. Um, I wouldn't mind like cinematically. I I wouldn't mind like uh like Robert Rodriguez taking a, a oh, shot and making it. Yeah. Well, yeah, and he's a Frizetta fan too, so he yeah. would he would have he would work with the uh, uh, Sarah oh, yeah. Frizetta. I mean, I love I love cool. his movie, man. I love the From Dusk Dusk Till Dawn. You know, like that's mm-hmm. such a you know, fun movie. In the house. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, Javi? If you feel hey, like it, man, I sent you the invite, man. If you want to hop in, I know you're busy, but if you if you do, <laughs> I sent you the invite. Yeah, I got. Mm-hmm. We got Javi. We got Gray Man. Gray Man says issue fifty one is his uh, birthday issue. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's let's see the cool information about fifty one. I can yeah. tell him, and then uh, yeah, let's see. Since I got the book out anyway, so let's see fifty two, fifty one. Aha, fifty one is is the funky looking one. It's it's the. Hold on, I'll make myself bigger so you guys can see it. I don't think I have 51. I have to check the box. But <laughs> I want to see 55 next. Yeah, 51. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Wow, it looks like a, a shaman there. Yeah, and then, shaman. Uh, she, and, and, and it's a bondage cover if you look at it. Kind of, <laughs> she's, oh, yeah, yeah. she's tied up in the back. <laughs> you could Photoshop a, a flute in her mm-hmm. hands. Yeah, she could be yeah. Pl- she could be playing jazz flute. 54 and 55. 54 and 55, all right, 54, all right, 52, 53, 54 and 55, right? Yep. Yeah, 54. Nice. Yeah, and it's, 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 uh, I think she's a B-horror movie uh, heroine that they used back then, so yeah, I think, I have to read it, read up on it, but I think so. And then you said 50, what was it? 55. 55. 54. 54. 53. 54. Ah, look at that. There's no 55 in here because it's not, I'm guessing it's not an iconic cover because it, it jumps straight to 56 cover. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that cover. Yep. Yep. With the yellow bastards yeah, on the cover. The yellow bastards <laughs> on the cover. <laughs> 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 it looks like the reanimator back uh, before reanimator was reanimator <laughs> oh no actually reanimator was wasn't he from like lovecraft or something like that yes that's that's lovecraft storyline yeah yeah, yeah. so Re-animator. yeah so this is the re this is the early appearance of reanimator if you think about nice. it nice yeah so oh yeah this is uh this is one i posted because if you look at the one previous, it is it's it's just it's her, it's the same model. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. And Sweet. I actually read the story in here, and it's 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 talking about a uh, uh, old school western ghost town, and then uh, she gets to. <laughs> has uh has Vampire ever teamed up with or like they did a crossover with her and like the the Universal monsters? No, I would I wouldn't mind seeing it. 
Yeah. Like it'd be cool to see like Vampirilla versus Dracula, right? right? And then right. and then the right. you know the next one could well, be like Dra Vampirilla Dracula's versus... already a Dracula. Well, the one thing is Dracula's already an enemy. Dracula's okay. already one of her enemies, so well, I mean, like the the Bill of the Dracula. The, yeah, yeah, the Universal Monster version of Dracula to be. Uh, yeah, that's a good. That's another idea for 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 Vampirella yeah. beating the Universal Monsters. Right. My my thing is, I wouldn't mind yeah. having her go against the, all the slasher movies, slashers too. The, I just want to yeah, see. Yeah, that'd you know, be fun. That'd be yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, going against Jason Voorhees, you know. They can always do something. They can always do something fun. Where like, remember, like in the last action hero, yeah, the kid no. has like the, the, the magic ticket and he goes into the movie. Yeah. And, like, imagine if they did a thing where like Vampirella got sucked into the slasher films right. and she right. was having to face them off, and then she realizes like she can't kill them, you know, because right. they're they're not even real. She's in a movie, so she needs to just escape. But it'd Raymond, be cool to get a question for you, buddy. Yeah, and he said, I think she was part of a model series. With the monsters once, wasn't she, Jeff? Which That's one? a great man. Great man. Great man question. Yeah, I think so, but I would have to re research it and look it up. But I'll, I'll I'll make a video if I find it if I find some of this information out. But there's a cut. There's a lot of cool information that that a lot of people don't know. Like, I looked up the issue that I told you guys about how you know the first time you see fangs in her in 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 in. in uh, Vampirella comic is, or a Vampirella magazine is because if you look at all the pictures, her fangs don't show. She doesn't show no yeah. fangs at all, all right. until, until, until issue eighteen, until the the AOK book that I got from uh, Steve and Hialeah. That and then I got myself a better copy of it. But I'm keeping both copies since I come to find out that's the first time you ever see her with fangs. Nice. Mhm. Mm so you ever see her? That's a that's a cool information about that issue. And then if people wanted to pick up like some cool information stuff about it, that's one. The yeah. One. Mm -hmm. Aha. See, that's the first time you see her in fangs at all. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, and then not until one twelve is then not until what issue one twelve you don't see fangs on her until issue one twelve again. So this is a this is a cool issue that that people don't know. And I looked at, <laughs> I looked at um, a CGC graded copy. It doesn't even mention that it's the first time she ever had fangs in a in in a, in a comic, or in, in the magazine. You could probably contact comic. CGC and maybe like uh, you know might convince them to add that on there. Yeah, yeah. I can. Add, and then oh, and the fun one I I found out today issue of issue ninety six. This guy's this guy got un uncredited. Not uncredited, but somebody at Warren, stupid, <laughs> dumb as hell, uh, quality control was dumb as hell. Because yeah. this this guy got uncredited for this. Because if you look in the book, if you look at in the actual book, it's actually, it uh, it says Joel Largon Wee. And it's an Australian artist. Okay? Yeah. This That's the guy that actually did this cover. But if you look yeah. in the book for a... And this is another error book that I've been. I, I told you guys, you know, there's right. another. Yeah, right. this is another error one. Ingridge got recognized for this cover, not not Joel Largon. We got recognized for it. And then yeah. in issue 39, Ken Kelly got recognized for something he did that that this guy did. <laughs> so that's interesting. Like I said, if ever, anybody wants mistake books. This is the one on that run. Ninety six is a uh, is the that on a run and issue seventeen of the run is a, is a mistake issue. William Small Mode is in the house. How you doing, buddy? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Yeah. So that, like I said, I'm this. There's gonna be a, a video too, but this is li some of the information f from that video. The, nice. for, for the video I'm gonna be doing for issue number two. Oh. You know how I told you I I put the thumbnail up again I and I yeah. told him hey it's only art yeah I put it up again like uh because me and Rand Rando and uh Ra uh, Ra uh, um not Robert but Ra damn it why can't I say uh the um the other one from Miami Ra not Robert right ah uh, why can't I say Rod Rod uh, I always say Rod I almost said Rod. 
not near mint. Mint in your head, so you can't think no, of the no. name. Yeah. <laughs> not, yeah. not near mint. Not near mint. Oh, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Rob. Yeah. Rob. 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 Yeah. yeah. Rob, Rob was on the show, and then uh, Rob goes, "Hey, just uh, tell him that this is just art, and then you, you, you know, it's just yeah. art, you know." I told him that, and they yeah. still pulled it down. This is on Instagram, buddy. No, not Instagram. This is on YouTube. It was a thumbnail. YouTube is pulling it down for some reason. No, it they didn't pull the whole video down. They just pulled the thumbnail down. That's because weird. It was, I'll show you the because I did the Vampirella one. I did this the Vampirella one. Yeah. Zoom like like zoomed in and put Vampirella facts like like right here and I, I knew where I was gonna get dinged on it, so I put it. <laughs> Am I, I put it. In, <laughs> Yeah. So I put the v- Vampirella facts stuff like in the place of where I kind of figured I would get something, you know, somebody would say something or one of the, I guess the algorithm doesn't like Vampirella because it saw the damn cover twice and I mean, pulled it down twice. A, a lot of these social media sites now, they're they're almost being run by like artificial intelligence. Like AI. What blows right. me away though is if you're like an Instagram, it's absolutely ridiculous the mm-hmm. amount of how should I should say this boobs and uh, butts. yeah and in real life you know yeah. people that are on there right. are showing more than they should on Instagram right. and they let that bath right. that doesn't make any sense right yeah well it's actually I think was it I think you can get away with it more on Twitter oh see look even uh even gray yeah. man had it happen too so I'm wondering if it I'm wondering if it's frisette if it's just because it's a frisetta you know it art piece and it could maybe be Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't just because of of being Vampirella. Maybe it's because it's it's a copyright. Frisette, copyright. Yeah, maybe it's a cop, copyright thing. Probably maybe probably. because yeah, because Frizetta's kids had a gotten a fight with all the you know who was gonna get what. I can't wait till VV actually gets the Vampirella cover so we can actually ask Sarah Frizetta a bunch of questions. I got a I got a bunch of questions in mind to ask her like. Where the original art piece of Vampirella and end up at, and you know, that's nice. what I want. Yeah, that's one I want to know is where where that that art piece ended up at. Like, if did it did it go to James Warren or did it you right. know did your grandpa keep it or right. you know I would love to find out where that you know where that piece is at. Yeah. So that's interesting. That be so uh, Randall, that, uh, you got anything new this week? Me, uh, I mean, not me personally. Um, the only big thing that I, I found out about this week, it's kind of like, you know, the big DC news is uh, in January, February, for two whole months, DC Comics will not be putting out their monthly titles. Well, um, really? For two whole months, what they're doing is they're putting out this event story called Future State. Oh, boy. And future Another future State is basically the future Superman, future Batman, future Wonder Woman. Um, we're going to see a bunch of first appearances of all these new characters. Jonathan um, Kent as Superman. Uh, right. <laughs> well, we got the, we got oh, the new Batman. Yeah. That, He's being that, that, the next Batman. But that was the original G5 idea. You remember that? That was the original G5 idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was the, the 5G, the original 5G yeah. story. But they, they, what they did was they switched it up because, I mean, I think yeah. the original plan was to reboot the universe. Mm-hmm. But I think they changed their minds and said, "Okay, we're not going to reboot the universe, but we're still going to put the story out. We're just going to make gonna some push. Changes. Yeah, we're yeah. just going to push them straight into the future, pretty much." Yeah. So the, the nice thing, because a lot of people are concerned, they're they're mm-hmm. they're they're concerned that you know, oh great, all the DC books are going to get canceled and get restarted at number one again. And right. as far as I know, DC has pretty much said, "No, no, everything will continue as normal, but we're just taking a break for two months. In two months, we're just going to be putting out." Um, the future state one shots. A lot of these comics that they're putting out, they're all going to be one shots. Um, uh, jo- uh, joking around, you know why? Because they have it printed there, and they, they, the, all those books are sitting there. They're like, man, we got to take a break of one of these times, and they're just setting all of these things. Out. Well, I mean, I think the cool thing about this is they're mm-hmm. bringing in a lot of different people that are writing these stories. These aren't your normal writers and artists that work okay. at DC. So That's we're cool. getting a lot of good talent, actually. Um, what was it? One of the girls that's getting, uh, I think she's getting Harley Quinn Future State. She's doing the one shot. She's mm. from Tampa. She was here in Tampa. She moved, though. Oh, and, you know, I, I know. Yeah, I know Stephanie. the one you're talking. Stephanie, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So she's getting to work on that. Um, this other guy I know, his name's Brandon Easton. Um, he actually worked on the Transformers animated series Netflix. That series. He's one of the writers on that show. Um, he's getting to write, um, I think, a, a Superman or Justice League series, but he's really going to be more focused on writing the Miracle Man character. Um, so it's cool that you know he's going to be getting more comic book work because um, he was doing through IDW. He was doing that Spider Man uh, series mm. um, where, where it was like Spider Man, Miles Morales, and Gwen. You know, Spider Gwen. They were all like working together, and it was really more geared towards kids, like that comic book series. So right. he was working on that. He's worked with IDW. He's written some Transformers comics before. Um, oh, so it's cool. Like um, you can already see um, the type of talent that DC is trying to bring in. They're trying to bring in more people of color, more diversity, more people. And this is sort of like their their chance to kind of like put some stuff wait, out and wait. see like, how people uh, react to it. DC don't got an Asian hero, do they? I don't remember. Yeah, you got the oh. Asian Superman, the Chinese Superman. Oh yeah, but he don't he don't count. But I mean, I old school, old school, like oh like, like Shang Chi. Yeah. Um, thinking about it, I don't think they do. Like like Shang Chi is a is like Star. almost set. Shang Chi, I know it's Marvel, but I'm saying like right. similar yeah, character yeah. like that. I don't think DC. they do. I mean, they did some yeah. martial arts books back then called Richard Dragon, but Richard Dragon wasn't uh, Asian. Right. Uh, maybe maybe so. one of the bad guys or some of the characters that he fought were Asian. Right. Right. Um, Lady Shiva. Lady Shiva, I believe, is Asian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot. She's been yeah. around for a long time. Yeah. Um, I can't really think of too many off the top of my head because, I mean, they don't. Right. They, you know, the Asian characters. But I really wouldn't really mind seeing a Lady life. Shiva. I mean, if somebody could write Lady Shiva pretty well, I wouldn't mind seeing a Lady Shiva book. Right. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, Lady yeah, Shiva's going to be in the new um, Batman animated movie, the one that Bruce Timm's doing, uh, uh, where it's like set in the 70s, and it's mm -hmm. got like this classic kung fu uh, right. uh, action, you know, grindhouse style. Uh, I'm excited for that. That would be fun. Um, Definitely oh, like dude, that, that animated movie is going to be great. Uh, oh, I, I watched the, the Death in the Family animated film that just came out. Oh, boy. Um, hmm? Mm, Definitely, the family wasn't uh wasn't it was a half definite family and half uh, uh incest. Red Hood. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Red Hood played a huge role in uh, you know they mm. took clips and pieces from Red Hood. Um, right. it was neat doing the interactive movie. Like I I, mm. I went through all of the choices just so I could see all of the different right. footage. Right. Um. So it was neat. It was fun. Um. I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer, but it was, you know, I'm still glad to, to watch it, still glad to, to get it, check it out. I mean, the best thing about that, too, is all the other animated shorts, even though I technically already have them through the different films. They kind of just, kind of like what they did with the Superman Shazam, where they took all the animated shorts and they put it all on one disc or, oh, or one, you know, yeah, one disc. So, like, once you're done watching the um, the death, death in the Family, you can watch the other ones, like Sergeant Rock, right. uh, the Phantom right. Stranger, the... Um, what was it the the character from Neil Gaiman, right. um, Sandman? You know, Death. Sandman. They got the animated short on Death, um, and then there was one other animated short that they did. I'm trying to remember. Um, let's see, Sword of Rock, Phantom Stranger. Yeah, I can't remember it. Can't remember the other one. Um, but the animated shorts were good. I like those. Um, the first wave of animated shorts, I think, were better. Right. Um, the right. best animated short that they made was the. Um, the um, Sergeant Rock. Sergeant Rock mm. was so great. Uh, you got you got Carl Urban voicing Sergeant Rock, and uh, it's it's they mix like supernatural to it, you know. Okay. Like it's so yeah. cool basically Sergeant Rock is having to lead uh, a new platoon, like a new group of guys on a secret mission, okay. and okay. it's Frankenstein's monster. It's a, a vampire, it's a werewolf. Right, and no, like, no, this is on. Where, where can you find this again? Oh, the, the animated short? Uh, you can find it on um, the Death in the Family um, movie that just released. The Batman okay. Death in the Family. Um, okay. All these animated shorts are connected with it. Okay. And um, But yeah, the Sergeant Rock, you see, like, the cool thing, too, is like you see, like, this castle, and uh, they're going there to, like, either rescue or find these, like, German scientists. And these German scientists are, you know, basically kind of creating like zombie type, like you know, just like the monsters. They're reanimating. Uh, it, it's it's fun. It's so much fun. I was just like, okay. ah, that's my favorite one. Cool. And then if you haven't seen it, 
uh, on the Superman Shazam animated film because they have a bunch of shorts with those ones. The Spectre, the Spectre oh, animated. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, if you haven't seen that one, that is the best animated short that they've ever made. Okay. Um, that is like Steve Niles. He he wrote it, and uh, it's got the um, it's got like a grindhouse feel to it. You know, same thing, kind of like set in the seventies, maybe sixties, and um, you just cool. see like uh, Jim Corrigan basically, you know, working on a case, and one by one he's tracking down the people involved. And he's um, he's doing justice to them, <laughs> you know. He's cool. like uh, very cool. Uh, okay. it, it's so much fun. It, it's so well done. Okay. Um, so hopefully DC will start making more shorts like that. But yeah, anyways, Future State, um, lots of cool. There's a guy on TikTok who kind of like did a review, and I guess kind of like the way they broke it down is there's like the the Batman family type of group of books. Then there's the yep. Superman family type of books, and then they refer to it as the the Justice League family, uh, okay. or you know, or the House, the House of Justice League, House of Superman, House of Batman. That's kind of how he did the breakdown on it, and he was kind of like going by several of the titles that they were releasing. Right, and um, it just sounds like a lot of fun, you know, like it's it's two months worth of books, one shots that are coming out. Um, obviously, all the regular miniseries that they already have coming out, those will continue to come out. Um, only the ongoing books, those are the only ones that won't be coming out for January and February, you know? So, I mean, it, it gives, I think, subscribers a, a break, I suppose. It gives them a chance to, you know, if they're tight with money or whatever. Sure. Um, oh, the Phantom Stranger, yeah, the animated shorts. Yeah, these, these are on the De uh, Batman Death in the Family. Um, uh, yeah, he's in England, so yeah. he should be able to get them, I think, I would think. Huh? I said Grey Man's in England, so I think he'd be able to get those. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's an English release for it. And then even yeah. if you buy it digitally, I believe the animated shorts follow it. Um, you know, so like Brando. after the credits Bruce, of the movie. Bruce, Bruce Tim is the other guy that did the um, did ba uh, animated series, right? Batman animated series? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because I didn't know he did a vampire. I, like I said, I, like I told you guys oh, like a cover, yeah. Sunday. Yeah, I didn't I know he did. Yeah. I didn't know him. Do, I didn't know he did a Vampirella cover, but here's a Bruce Tim one. Nice. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So now I now I'm gonna be hunting for it. Now I want it. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know it was a Bruce. I didn't know what Bruce Tim actually did. Did. See. So. It's always nice to see Bruce Tim do like different covers right. from time to time. Oh, it looks like he did. He looks like he did a. Yeah, a little short. short. Yeah, and then I looked at it, and then. Uh, Sweet. It looks just like the animated series. It looks like just like the Batman animated series style too, like, like the guy, <laughs> like the guy he did. Um, because it's it's a uh, Van Hel it's a uh, Van Helsing's grandson is is uh, his uh, is her love interest all the time. So it's pretty funny to see him nice. look like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> nice. He actually looks like Bruce Wayne, so it's pretty funny. Yeah, like I said, so what, I didn't. So what you been up to, uh, Godfather? <laughs> Not much, just. Taking care of my honey. Yeah, that's good. So I had a really good show last night. It was a good show. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Oh, he was, uh, he was, oh, I like, I like the was intro in the chat. Got, man. That's some good stuff you got there. Yeah. What's that? The intro. The intro, the intro that you were oh, showing. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good stuff, man. I like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just gotta I just gotta upgrade the upgrade the stream yard and I can do all that stuff too. <laughs> I good, just yeah, you should. Sure? Yeah, well, my thing is I don't use it enough. Where where to, to well, the pay intro for it. things though, the intro things though, those yeah. I have to make. No, no, no. I, I mean, I know. Them. Yeah, I know how to yeah. do that. I just say now. The, if I... the only thing that's really good with um, Streamyard here is that it kind of gives you a nice, easy access to smoothly get it in. But right, no, right. I just watched our show from last night, reviewing it, and yeah. there were a few times there where you like click on your little. The, the the video itself and try to yeah. get it to go smoothly while you're talking. There was a couple yeah. times, like five or six times, where it did not right. take off. It like stopped. Well, it, no, oh, okay. I thought it was about to take off, and you just said, "You just there's, oh, it's not working," and then no, you just kept. Five, <laughs> there, there's even delay right now. I'm noticing there's yeah, really yeah. bad lag tonight. Yeah. Just like last but it, it's it's not Streamyard though. It's it's YouTube though. What I noticed, it's yeah. not. I don't think it's Streamyard at all. I think it's YouTube. But it wouldn't there. take. It wouldn't like click on right. like right away. But that was the only issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Oh. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff, yeah, Jeff are. should get like a. 
he should get like a you should get an animator and have like an animated uh, intro and it Vampirilla. should be like animated it should be like animated jeff like chasing after a vampirilla and you see like vampirilla trying to like get away no i i would think that's something really cool for jeff especially yeah. with vampirilla added into it yeah yeah, as long as we don't make it look like nothing like Frusetta's for uh, Vampirella, we won't get things. Right, nothing. right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Copyright in the yeah. thumbnail, and yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as we don't make it look like nothing like Frusetta's, uh, we're all okay. <laughs> because oh, I, feel like a I... Dummy. I actually have the movie right here, so in case people are yeah. curious what it looks like. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's the new one. That's not the. That's not the one I thought it was. Okay. Yeah. The oh, DC uh, show. Got... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I keep. Uh, yeah. I keep thinking of. Uh, no, the killing. Yeah, I thought of the killing joke, not that one. My bad. Okay. <laughs> you remember the killing joke had to because it was a short story, so it had, so it had the Barbara, you know, that Barbara story with uh, with Batman and stuff. I'm like, really. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To make the yeah. movie longer, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, I, I mean, uh... I, enjoy, I enjoyed the killing joke. I, I liked it so much. Like uh, when they were, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the company um, that yeah. does these special showings. Um, yeah. But they, 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 I was able to go to a movie theater and watch uh -huh. the killing joke on the big screen. Yeah. Right. You know? And um, so I got to do that twice. Um, any of the DC animated movies, any any opportunity that they put them up on the big screen, I always try to go. So I think um, I think I can't remember if they did it for the Dark Knight. I don't think they did it for the Dark Knight Returns, but they did it for the Killing Joke. Um, they did it for the Death and Return of Superman. Mm. So when the Return of Superman that animated was coming out, what right. they did was they took the first movie, which was the Death of Superman. They combined it in the two movies. That they, they took the two movies, combined it into one movie. And so I got to sit there and like watch the whole thing from beginning to end on the on the screen. Right. Right. And then sometimes they do like the um, Fathom events. That's the name of the company, Fathom. Um, okay. They do like these special screenings, like. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading all these comments and yeah. Yeah. Me too. questions. Yeah. Nobody knows Green Man. <laughs> <laughs> Judas. Yeah, man, man, I thought it was, like, uh, interesting, man, like, because that's what I thought you were talking about was the killing joke when I forgot that that Death and the Family is, is, the, is the other yeah, story. Yeah, no, it just came out. The, the Death and the Family yeah. just came out. Um, okay. If it wasn't this past Tuesday, it was last week Tuesday, but I think it was this yeah. past, it was the 13th, I think. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was last yeah. week. Yeah, last week. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, anytime the animated movies come out, I always try to go mm -hmm. and buy them. Um, the one I haven't bought recently was the Deathstroke one. Um, which okay. was made from the animation people that that do like the the CW shows. Right. Uh, so Michael Chiklis was the voice of uh, Deathstroke. So uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind checking that out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching uh, Adventures of Superboy, okay. you know, classic uh, late '80s, early '90s well, television series. Yeah, you're you're a Superman fan, so I'm not surprised. Oh, yeah. Well. well since uh, DC yeah. Universe is getting rid of all the video content, my goal yeah. is um, to watch everything, to watch as much as I can before it's gone. And so, so, um, so the the amount you're paying for it, are you just getting to get comics on there now, or are they completely no, getting mean, rid of it? Yeah, I mean, basically, they want you to pretty much pay the same amount of money, but just for the comic books. And That's in all honesty, I don't I don't read a lot of books digitally, like you know, because I'm a retailer. But my, and I, yeah, but my thing is that that freaking sucks man you're paying what are you paying uh for the whole you paid 70 something for the whole yeah like 75 years? i think 75 for a year yeah but that's wow dude, 75 just for, for what randall for just comics yeah, now since, since yeah since they're gonna take off all, you're all talking the about digital? yeah you're paying well, 75 yeah, for digital comics no, 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 no it, it wasn't just comics it was it was content the on there shows, too movies, oh, but, oh, but, but but now I'm talking about the but, digital network thing the D, the dc network yeah but now but i'm asking random because now they're taking it off so what are they going to have on there they're just going to have taking it off they're taking because um, hbo, well, HBO go has because, all, all of it mainly because of probably hbo max okay so um, dc here here's what it's confusing and especially confuses it confuses the public 
especially the community that collects books. Yeah. yeah. So they decide to come in and clean completely complete house, clean house. Yeah. Do all new artists, all new managers. And now they're doing this in what January or whatever. For, that's really making things very confusing for the public in general. But now, now that, but they're they're moving they're mo- they're moving con- they're moving all the live content and all the film content to HBO Max, and then yeah, they're leaving comic that's books on. But they're but they're leaving comic books on that that service. But you're paying yeah. the same amount for just digital comics. That's the that's the pro- that's the issue now. Okay, that's I'm curious. Are, you, okay, if you pay for the service, do you actually keep your digital content? Keep it like get a rental like- service. Or is it a rental, okay. like a rental service? Sorry. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it's like any other, like, um, well, it's not like any other. Um, no, but no, if but you're paying that, do you have to pay? Like, an example, there's a couple of the comic digital ones where you you pay like three ninety nine, and then you own. But you still you pay you still pay three ninety nine for a comic. That's what. Uh, well, Robert yeah, no, no, you're not buying the comic books. You, you know, you you pay you're for the service. You're read. limited reading. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So yeah. I got something that you might like. Maybe okay. you can tell me a little history. I think Randall will like this since yeah. he brought up Superboy and all yeah. that. I got some older ones up here on my desk and maybe he'll like yeah. to see this just yeah, for Randall. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah. Let's make Randall smile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I got you. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So we know this, right, Randall? Oh yeah. Unknown Legionnaire. Mm-hmm. That's There's awesome. There's one that for you. That looks great. Yeah, oh Yeah. <laughs> There's another one for you, but oh, classic! Yeah, did you ever watch the um, the Legion of Superheroes animated series? The animated series? No, I was more. I'm sorry, I'm really old school. I used to like my myself. I remember what was it, Eek, and what was it, um, uh, the Super Friends. I used to watch. I was a Super Friends fan. Oh yeah, growing yeah. up as, as a kid. They have all of those on the DC Universe. Love this one. <laughs> Nice. A little bizarro, bizarro going on there. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another one for you. Boom. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and another one. There you go. The Legion of Superheroes, they're just they're such so, they're such great characters. Oh yeah. And I think what's fun about them is like you can you know you can make so many of these characters and it does it won't affect continuity because they're in the future they have right. their own continuity and a little detective for you oh nice and another adventure and one more superboy just show some comics that one's kind of rough shape yeah 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 but it's still good to have them though <laughs> nice nice there you go boom the man who destroyed krypton yeah <laughs> There, we yeah. saw a little comic books. I want to make somebody happy out there for you, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we we show comics, we show vampy, yeah. we show every, we show a little oh, bit yeah. of everything. The, uh, do you, once, do I get, you once I get a lot, a lot of my comic books organized, I'll be able to showcase. I mean, like I got it's organized. Thousands. <laughs> I got thousands. <laughs> yeah. Did Never you guys? Like, you, have you guys? I'm just curious. Did you get a chance to watch um, Utopia yeah. yet? Mm, uh, no, no. I've had several people to. tell me about it. Um, <laughs> I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, I just don't really know why good. I'm not pushing myself to watch it. It's I feel really like, it's no, I know, time. like, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. It, it, I feel like I'm gonna wait until I get uh, Amazon again because I don't know what it was. As soon as I watched um, the finale of The Boys, my mindset was like, okay, I'm I'm done with Amazon. I need to focus on DC Universe. I need to try and much yeah. watch it. <laughs> yeah, and now you yeah. got Netflix. And now you got Netflix. Then I got Netflix. Netflix. You got Netflix. Got Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Now you got Netflix, so it's even funnier. Which is funny. Like the only reason I got Netflix was because there's this there's this agree, girl. And that the one's in rough shape. That one's in yeah. pretty rough shape. Out of all yeah. the ones I just showed you, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Right there. Oh yeah, it's crazy. Well. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Is it still intact with like with the staples and everything like that? Oh yeah, it's, still okay. it's all intact. No rust. It's all there. That's but good. it's still it, it's pretty rough. Damn. It, not until dude, you know how you get an email saying you went live. I didn't get the email until right now. What? <laughs> yeah. Weird. That's funny. I was like, oh, really? I don't get the damn email until right now that I'm live. <laughs> I've been live for for, for almost an hour. <laughs> but you know, the funny thing about me getting Netflix is, uh, I, I, there's this girl on TikTok, 
and mm -hmm. she goes live every now and then and we chit chat and yeah. uh you know, basically, she talked about doing sort of like one of those like group streaming, like getting a group yeah. of people to oh, all watch wow. a movie and chat while yeah. the movie was going on. So I told her, "Hey, I'm I'm totally interested in doing that." And I told her, "Like, I get Netflix just to do that." Yeah, um, and I, I tried to join it, and it wouldn't let me join. But that's because I think she's in Canada, so I don't know if it has anything to do with like the VPN or uh, I don't know. It, it's called a tele teleplay or yeah, but uh, tell her uh, she <laughs> no, can do uh, uh, thanks, Karen. Karen. It's called yeah, just tell, yeah, but uh, let her know she can do it on uh, Discord too. On uh, uh, what is it? Um, Streamlabs in Discord, and she can do all that. I stuff need too. to learn Streamyard. Uh, what is it? What is it called? Streamlabs, Jeff. Streamlabs. Yeah, I've been messing around with it, but it's 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 not easy to use. This is easier to use than that. So well, Streamlabs okay. has a couple different features. I think it is what it is. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah. But it, it's it's good to use, but it's 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 a it's a little more complicated than you think. So, Randall, what do you think about? Um, I heard they pushed back Dune. Mm. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, they pushed it. They pushed it to October of next year, I think. Wow, <laughs> we got a lot of movies that they're holding on to. I want to yeah. see my damn Morbius movie. It's frustrating. Yeah. Oh right. Right? Oh, yeah. it's so frustrating, dude. The and then, people are hungry for Venom 2. They want to see the carnage, you know? Yeah, you know, Black like, Widow. Yes. Black Widow. Black Widow. Yes. Come on. Yeah. yeah. It is like I was showing, I showed Jeff this a couple days ago, but yeah. I was in a, uh, when I was in Marshfield when my honey was yeah. having surgery, we stopped, uh, stopped in that, in that, I'm hearing an echo. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm wondering. Uh, I know it's not me because I don't got YouTube I, up at all. I don't. Hear, I don't hear an echo. Now we don't hear an echo, right? Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Still hear one. Is it gone? Hold on. Is it gone? I, I now it's gone. It. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's gone. Now it's yeah. gone. You guys are coming <laughs> in clear with me. Anyway, we we're in this place, uh, this Marshville City, and uh, we were me and my wife were exploring it a little bit because we've never been there, and it's in the central Wisconsin, about 300 miles from us, and. We found this old bookstore. It was so cool. It was a 150-year-old bookstore. And when you walked into it, I mean, it was all like, you know, old bars, old books going all the way back. It was like a big library going all the way back. Went nice. up to the counter looking for comics. And they had one little glass case with a bunch of omnibuses and stuff, a lot of modern stuff. And then they had like three little like magazine racks, little tiny ones that had yeah. some comics in it. There was a bunch of DC stuff in there. And it was okay. A lot of modern stuff. I get to the last three books and out of the one, two dollars and fifty cents. Very fine. Ah, you got I was it. Nice. So happy. I was so happy. The first, you know, his first, you know, run, uh, issue 20 through 31, not his first yeah. appearance, but his first run. And I yeah. was so excited. Two dollars and fifty cents. And it's in decent shape. I was uh -huh. really happy. Rob, what's up, buddy? I saw Rob. this. Hey. How you doing? I just saw the link in my email just now as I finished FOC. <laughs> no, you're good. No. You're good. I just I did I just sent it to everybody on my email list. Uh, whoever wanted to pop in could pop in. <laughs> did you reorganize? It looks like he did. Either that or moved his Oh, camera. okay. The yeah, other yeah. camera. It's other That's camera. what it is. Yeah, the the other angle. Yeah, I have a couple cameras. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See? I like that. Mm hmm. I'm trying to find this one book. Um, I discovered this, like, uh, this is why sometimes I like social media. Because, you know, they're listening in on your conversations, right? So yeah, when you course. say something, you talk about things that you like. Yep. You know, social yeah, media will all of a sudden be like, you know, oh, hey, here's an ad for this. Or, hey, let's yeah, check this right. out. You might like this. Yep. And um, I came across this company called Easton Press Books. And um, they were promoting... Um, these old DC books. Right? What they do is that they they bound it, um, or buy oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've 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 heard about that. Yeah, where you get the, all the issues that that you want that you know that DC won't will never bound, and these these guys can bound those issues together to one, well, yeah, one there, big companies that can, Yeah, there's companies that yeah. can do that. Um, here it is, the Golden Age of DC. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You get an image of it here, real quick. Can you share a screen? Yeah, that's what I want to see. <laughs> I mean, if if um yeah, I, I'll, I'll be able to. Yeah. Uh, if you if I you can share it on your yeah, you can show it share it on your laptop too if you want or whatever you're on. 
Hold oh. on. Give me. Hold on. So you put them in a hard. You put them in leather bound. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of neat. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah, I like that. They have it for that's like I think one hundred forty-one dollars. How much? One hundred forty-one. How many issues are you getting in that? All. Uh, I think all of them. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> the, the heyday of DC Comics from 1935 to 1956 in the leather-bound edition. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, what is it? The, the greatest years in DC Comics history, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and many, many others. Celebrated oh, appearances. That. Okay. Um, that's kind of cool. Here. Oh, 672 yeah. pages. Okay. So it's an omnibus. It's an omnibus size, so it's pretty much... Yeah, features include fully yeah. bound and genuine leather... 22 karat gold deeply inlaid on the oh, hub yeah. spine. There you go. Yeah. So pretty much this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that for well, Yeah. Show that again. You yeah, mean the size? The size. Yeah, pretty much the size the is going to be this. Turn, yeah. Hold on the side. Turn it How's around. the spine on that? Yeah. That's what I'm curious. Hold so on. I'll show you guys now. Well, wow. see, I think, but I think that's glue, though. I don't think that's sewn. Yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you now. It is glued, like Randall was saying. It's it glued, it's not sewn. Yeah. Yeah. So See? this so. book, the pages are sewn. Oh, yeah. okay. That's why it's so expensive, buddy. You're yeah. paying for a little bit of a little bit of uh quality. Oh yeah, yeah. Quality. Yeah. It, it's limited to like a certain amount of uh copies. So it's just one of those like rare like, uh, collection. Is it out now? Uh, I th let me double check. Because it said available. Yeah, I still got the team. I still got the team Titans one over here. I still got. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out now. Yeah. It's available now. Yeah, I still got um, that team Titans one too, man. It's it's it's, it's freaking huge too, <laughs> just like that one. And the just, nice that's thing a, is that's uh, on my they, big they offer, uh, The nice thing is they offer three monthly installments of forty-seven dollars. <laughs> so if you're, if, if you're willing to pay forty-seven dollars for three yeah. months. Yep. Boom, it's paid off. You can get yeah, the book. Exactly. Yep. I so mean, Rob, what have you been up to, buddy? Oh, yeah. well, what have I been I'm up so to? to do it. I have a whole bunch of stuff right now that I have on just on its way right now. Awesome. I, I same old, same old. enough, but at the same time, I have nothing to show for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, I'm just waiting for you to buy like a bigger house. And then when you buy this big house, you're gonna you're gonna have one of those like specially made like hidden rooms, the hidden doors. Like maybe you'll have like a clock that looks like Batman's clock, and you click it. And it'll <laughs> the secret vault, the exactly. secret room of all the your collection in your books. That would be that would be all of us. You have to become a millionaire. This isn't my house. I'm just allowed to live here, thankfully. Oh, okay. And I think okay. she's now finally come around to realizing that hey, maybe this isn't such a bad room after all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I. <laughs> if I was if I was super wealthy, my dream house, my dream house, I want it to be the size of a mansion. I want a huge attic, and I want mm. a huge basement. Mm. Okay. And if I was wealthy enough, I would hire the people. Who made the Batcave? The you know who designed the the set of the Batcave in the Christopher oh, Nolan boy. films, uh, or even the uh, Michael Keaton Batman films. And then what I would do is I'd have them come into the basement and design the basement, the insides of the basement to look like the Batcave. Nice. And then I would try to hire people, and then I would make the attic look like the Fortress of Solitude. And I'd have like the nice. the the ice, the the crystals, the moving up, and like. I'd have like a, an ice machine or a fog machine going. And every time you walk into the attic, you could hear the John Williams uh, Superman uh, music. It's like you're like literally like inside the Fortress of Solitude. Like that's how I would do it. Wow. That tells me you've thought this out. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, all I want is the original Frizetta Vampirella if I ever got <laughs> Well, I mean, you if, if I had a, a private detective to go and track those pages down yeah. and go, hey, honey, who is it? Are you expecting company? No, I don't know. Go answer it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a private detective, and uh, <laughs> uh, Robert the G-Man Galvin 
Uh, <laughs> here that you have page 18 of Vampuella number one. Yeah, right. I'm going to say, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, no, I'm actually, not, not the pages are. I want actually to present a painting that actually they'll know. cover. Yeah. yeah. Je Jeff's going to hire, he's going to hire uh, Hitman or uh, what do you call him? Nah, what do you call him, guys? Not, nah, Hitman, not Hitman, not Hitman. That, that's too extreme. But, that's too extreme. He's going to hire yeah. mercenaries. They're all going to dress up in like, squat gear and then they're going to be like, we got him. <laughs> and then they're going to take a page. Yeah. No, because Neil, we know Neil Adams probably has the uh, the first uh, the story he did, in his, and so I would have to go, hey, Neil, I'll offer you this much amount of money if you uh, give, give me the story out of it. <laughs> because he didn't, he done one story out of it. I'm actually convinced, Jeff, that once you once you actually collect all of the Vampirella mm -hmm. issues, I know that the next thing you're going to go after is the original art. Mm, maybe you're gonna start collecting. You're gonna try to get all the original art pages. I mean, the cheapest thing for you to do is get the uh, original art of the newer issues, right. and then kind of like work your way to like getting the kind of like what you're doing now. Like you know, you, yeah. you always get the new issues, and then you yeah. try to like fill in the gaps and get the older issues. Right. So I'm pro. Yeah, but if I could get, I'd probably get a personal Perillo one if I if I could get it there if I had the money to personal yeah. Perillo. Yeah, Perillo art. You would hire an agent to contact Perillo's agent, if that's yes. how things work, sure. and just say, hey, uh, you know how you were contracted to do covers? You don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you now work for a man named Jeff. Jeff who? That, that doesn't matter. <laughs> you will never get to meet him. You will just Jeff do part for him. Yeah. Jeff, is gonna dress up as, Jeff is going to dress up as low pan. And he's gonna just like walk up to uh, Perillo, and he's like, "You work for me now." <laughs> y'all, y'all actually read Department of Truth, right? Yeah. Oh. It's gonna be like that at the very end. It's like uh, you, you probably don't know who I am. My name is Lee Harvey Oswald, and you now work for the Department of Truth. It'll be like that. Only you're yes. Jeff, and you're the Department of Truth. <laughs> Sorry yeah, if I just spoiled the part of the truth for yeah. everybody out there. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. But it'd be, it'd be, fun, yeah, it'd be fun to actually get Perello and uh, like Carla Cohan, his his uh, girlfriend or fiance, to actually do a p piece together. I would want uh, my my thing is if I do, if I was able to afford it, I would have both of them do a combined piece together. I I thought I thought of a brilliant piece. Now I thought of a brilliant piece. What's that? What's the famous? What's the famous painting? Was it like a? Michael, is it Michelangelo, like Michelangelo. The, the painting that's on the ceiling? And you see like Adam and like God, and they're like, he's, in, like that. he's, he's in that. He's in his book. Jeff, yeah. he's in your book. He's got yeah. it. It's yeah. the zombie. I, I think it's a zombie one, if I'm not mistaken. Zo yeah, zombie version of it. He's got, he's got. Yeah, hand but I have an idea of, of that. But, buddy. Yeah, but Perillo, Perillo doing it and his, his girlfriend doing it. Perillo yeah. has got an image of that. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, hold on. I'll find it. It shows yeah, him. I was going to say there should be one of Jeff, and it's yeah. like <laughs> uh, Jeff. Uh, touch of Vampirella's oh, finger. God, I could just see it. Awesome. Touch of Vampirella's finger. Yeah, <laughs> it's here. It's I just gotta. I know it's. You know, it's it's in there. I just gotta flip through it to be carefully so I can find it. That these damn papers thin as hell. Mm. That's the only problem I don't like. Is the papers the thin in the damn art book? Right yeah. there on the on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah. And then uh, Evil yeah. Ernie. I think that's so cool. That yeah. is so cool. It's so dark. But yeah, so but cool. that would be that that would be me posing yes, as uh, exactly. and then touching the <laughs> Vampirella's finger. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> yeah, so that that's one. Yeah. I knew he did. I knew he did those Evil Ernie's, but I didn't know he did like pirates. I didn't. Yeah, yeah I got because. You, yeah, I didn't know he did pirates, and I didn't know he did this one too. So now I gotta go. Pro I'll probably look for this one because since I have another homage to to it of Vampirella oh, of it. So you know, I think yeah. I do actually yeah. have some comics to show off. I stopped over at um, Yancey Street Comics. Oh, that's cool. And uh, because since I'm not able to, or since I'm really not ordering other books other than DC because of the um, because of the whole. Save, trying to save money on distribution, so they started coming out with The Walking Dead again. Oh yeah, the um, pictures. Oh, don't tell yeah, the me. The color. 
Oh my gosh. The color. Did you get the one in per store? No, no, no. no. <laughs> but uh, no, the cool thing is that they're doing. I, I told him, I asked him, you know, hey, all the books that they're coming out with that are cover price, go ahead and give me two copies of each. Oh, yeah. um, so, like, I got oh, okay. this one right here. Did it'll you, be neat to, you, like, it'll, like, I never actually got to finish uh, reading Walking Dead. So, um, oh, okay. I think it'll be neat to, like, actually yeah. kind of, like, start rereading it. And then reading the whole thing in color, because like the, what they did is they're reprinting these issues, and they're putting the whole comic in color. In color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And they got like so many neat covers. And I asked them, like, you know, they're not going to do this many. Hey, covers just out of curiosity, you know. could you please show like one of the inside covers, the, what the color looks like? Oh, oh yeah, 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 of course. I'd like to see that. That's so I'm you black and white. Yeah, I'm leaving them up right now. That's why I'm yeah, leaving uh, Randall Art up Adams. right now. Hmm. Is Art Adams new Adam's son? No, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know Neil has two kids. I, I just don't remember what their names were. Oh, and then the other thing, too, I don't know if a lot of you guys know about this. So this is, like, limited to 10,000 copies, I think. Um, only select comic book stores were able to get this cover, and um, Yancey Street was one of those stores. And this is the the Batman Ooh. 100. Yeah. yeah, that's the Batman what? 100. Batman issue 100. Okay. Limited cover. That's pretty. Oh yeah, Very the nice. Lee Romero. Yeah. Nice. The the Batman damned guy, the guy that did yeah, penis. Yeah, the yeah. dog. The yeah, the the Batman Wang. Yeah. That what? That one. All right, let's take a look at this baby in color. All those people that paid one hundred and fifty dollars for that book and now it's to, not to be like fair, it. to be fair, they actually already did do Walking Dead number one reprinted in color before. Okay, um, they're just doing it again, but this time they're going to do all the issues. Damn, that's a lot of issues this time. Okay. Yeah, Chris. Just, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It. No, it's yeah. it's weird to it see. It really doesn't add much. No, I'm yeah. trying. That's why I wanted to see that. It's yeah, it's just weird in color. That's all. <laughs> it's oh wow! Weird. Of course, like let's not, let's not forget, it's Tony Moore that did the first like right. five or six yep. issues. Right, right, right. Um, so it'll be weird to see Charlie Adler's right, um, right drawing okay. in color because I've seen. I mean, I'm used to Tony Moore's work in color. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I cool. Yeah, Thanks, it's okay. I appreciate yeah. that. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, okay. you're welcome. I'm just saying, like, yeah, we it changed artists, so it'd be kind of weird yeah, to see the, yeah, the change. You know, what? So, Randall, when did they change the artist? Uh, they changed the artist like right after like five or six. So and uh, Charlie kind of Adler stayed this, on. Charlie Adler saying, did the whole series from when right. he jumped on all the way to the end. But I'm just saying, it'd be kind of weird to see it from jump from the beginning, and you know, the first couple artists, the the, the first yeah. artist, and then. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it, it, if Robert Kirkman wants to surprise the shit out of fans, he'd bring back Tony Moore, and he'd have Tony Moore do all the issues that um, Charlie Adler did, and then the Walking Walking Dead comic book fans would go nuts for it. They're like, oh my, because I mean, I no no offense to Charlie Adler, I mean, it's fantastic artist, a uh, very consistent, hardworking. You know, he helped make the series what it is. Um, but I prefer Tony Moore's art. You know, like. That's why, like that, that first Walking Dead trade. You know, when people first were getting into Walking Dead, the first time they were experienced to, to it, it was with Tony Moore's art. You know, and then what happened was once you got sucked into the story, and once you got the, once you liked the characters, once you liked everything, it kind of didn't matter that Tony wasn't the artist anymore because you were already invested. You were, you're, you know, Tony like, Moore so anymore. That's a pun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm sure you're aware of the lawsuit to make sure that he would get paid more. Of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bad Lord that took over. But it's kind yeah. of like uh, if you're familiar with what's going on with like uh, uh, some of the lawsuits going on with anybody involved with singing. If you don't want to work with the person you work with anymore, re-record it. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> 
So Tony Moore has already sued once because he got screwed out of rights. And yeah. most of what Walking Dead is all about anyway is uh, getting it in trade paperback to right. get him to do it all over again would just further screw over Tony Moore. If you don't think that there'd be another lawsuit with that happening, <laughs> you got another thing coming. I mean, yeah. I, I, honestly, because I mean, I feel like Walking Dead's kind of like they already announced that they're ending the TV show. Um, however, you have like they still want to make the movie, and then on top of that, they want to make a spinoff from the original series. Like Daryl, they already got his... a spinoff. <laughs> they already got right, one right. spinoff. I mean, it's not really a. I mean, you could call it a spinoff, but like when they did Fear the Walking Dead, right. none of the characters that appeared in the first right. season or the first episode. <laughs> Milk, like, yeah, like oh, yeah, totally. Milk and the cow. Milk, Milk and the cow. <laughs> Milk that's not even the Kirkman, really. To be honest, I think that's more AMC. AMC is like yeah. we want more, you know, like we want more shows that get the same type of ratings as Walking Dead does. You know, like right. what? And here's you know, that financial teat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just so funny. Like, did you guys see the uh, the Animaniacs uh, little uh, animated special the promotion? Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. And you saw the guy like he was like wearing a, a he's wearing a suit. Obviously, he's the lawyer from Jurassic Park, but uh, on the suit it says Hulu, <laughs> and his exact words are, "We're gonna make so much money with this." <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, it's. Wow. But yes, they're bringing, stuff. they're bringing back Pinky and the Brain, mm. the Good yes. Feathers. They're bringing back everything, even Elmira. You know, that, that was the one I didn't like so much. Uh, um, it, I don't. I mean, all I know for sure is that it's Pinky and the Brain and it's the Animaniacs, but I don't know about the other characters. Um, it'll, I hope that they bring back the other characters as well. Um, but it's just good. I think it's just it's it's nostalgia, yeah. you know, like people, people love it, you know, and it's like they want to see things that they love come back and kind of like made like how are they how how will something that was made in the nineties, how will that work now? You know, yeah, how will it fit uh, in? That's uh, just like that's just like not my good point. because uh I remember some of those Animaniacs episodes were kind of like well, uh, that's was... just like Looney Tunes, just yeah. like Marvin yeah. the Martian and yeah. uh, Coyote. Let's think about mm -hmm. that for a moment. If we were mm -hmm. playing those now, people would be losing their minds because of the yeah. Oh yeah, those are the talent. old school ones. Yeah, yeah. I know. The ones now the ones yeah. now are going to be more tuned to. Uh, well, the problem was the 90s ones were all pop pop culture references. Yep. Yep. And if you try and replay that to the kids now, they're not going to understand that Good Feathers was parallel to God or uh, Good Feathers. Yes. <laughs> and that was you know, like a 40 year old or a 30 year old movie. So oh, yeah. uh, they're going to have to update a bunch of things. Yeah. I, I'll tell you right now, they're going to they're going to do TikTok. what they did in the 90s, but what they're going to do is they're. It's like so. Remember, like the early episodes of the animated YouTube like, and TikTok. <laughs> you'd, see, like, an animated, you'd see an animated version of Jack Nicholson. You'd see like the big stars from like the eighties and nineties. They'd be like you know making appearances in the yeah, show. A bunch of YouTube so now, people. Yeah. Well, no. Instead, instead of Jack Nicholson, now we're gonna have Leonardo DiCaprio. We're gonna have Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Those are gonna be the the Hollywood stars. They're like, oh, you know, you're gonna see the Animaniacs interacting with. All the stars now, you know, and like I would love to I just see John pull out from a hat. Wait a second, PewDiePie, how did you get in there? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Ten thousand dollars. The check's still coming. Uh, I'll call you. Yeah. They'll they'll, yeah. they'll do an episode where you know you're gonna see the Animaniacs doing TikTok videos or something like that. You know, like yeah, they'll, yeah. they're gonna you know you'll see it all. You'll see it all. All the jokes, everything. I won't put that on my phone, and I see everybody at work. I don't even bring my phone to work because everybody at work is. TikTok and I'm like, what is this? Yeah. I'm like, really? Trust me, don't TikTok go down, is... down don't go down that rabbit hole, Robert, I won't. you'll be it's sitting down for, for no, hours. It's not for me. The, the, yeah, the, yeah. the interesting thing about TikTok, right? I made this uh I, me and my friend were talking about it and I said, Okay, you take these two things, you put it together, that's what TikTok is. TikTok is basically a blend of if you remember Vine, <laughs> Vine, Risky, Vine would Risky, be like the ten Risky. hold on. Come here, honey. Say that again. <laughs> oh, hey. She's, she's going to pop, make a pop in here. I'm getting hey, a you. shower, but I had to pop in and go, I am now his TikTok. She's out of her valve. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, Miss G. Good to see you, Miss G. So, so there was a um, there's a thing called Vine, and Vine was known for like doing like 10, 15 second like skit videos. 
Um, and then, you know, so basically it's a mixture of Vine and it's a mixture of YouTube. If you took mm -hmm. YouTube and Vine and you put it together, that's what TikTok is. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. The reason I say that, because Vine, you didn't have enough uh, time to educate anyone. It was literally just nothing but dances and stupid videos um, where, you know, you give like a minute, a minute and a half. You're giving people enough time to basically throw information here's, to you. Here's, here's my reasoning. Okay, here's, here, here's yeah. the thing. It's la I'll give you perfect, be perfectly honest with you. Couldn't sleep. Three o'clock, like three thirty last early this morning, I was up, and I happened to just go to my phone, and I'm just going through Instagram, right? Yeah. Literally swiping, really? and then they have those little like little pieces that pop up in the middle, and they. Yeah. You got people in there that's I think it's like TikTok or whatever it is. Yeah, and, yeah, it's called yeah, Instagram yeah. Reels. I, like, I get stuck in yeah. that. Literally burned two hours doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. There's a yeah. word for yeah. that, Robert. It's called doom scrolling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we've all done it. We've all done it. Every day. I do it every night at 2 a.m. until like yeah. I finally go, okay, I think my eyes fall and, asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I oh, do the yeah. same thing. I mean, we all do it. The cool, the cool thing is TikTok. The smart thing that he did was um, you have content creators on there that are literally like teaching people. Like they're like, you know, like, hey, did you know this information? This information that. Um, I should do a vampy one. I should do a vampy oh, one just to you be should. funny. You know, like it, <laughs> people who are like curious about vampirilla, you yeah. could do like one of those videos, like top 10, uh, you know, stories or top five stories. Yeah. Um, and it's very, you know, it's almost kind of reminiscent to the news, like news commercials. Remember in the news are like, you know, a man kidnaps a baby more at 11. You know, so <laughs> like, you, know, you, gotta, you gotta tune in. So like, because these videos aren't long enough, right? You yeah. see them talking and they say like and follow for part two. You know? yeah. 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 They do that. The rest of this story. Yeah. <laughs> So like yeah, they're doing that to just to get views and followers, but I mean people are getting paid to make content on there. Sure. There's another site I haven't joined it yet, but it's called Triller, and Triller oh, yeah, is yeah. basically just trying to copy what TikTok is doing. Yeah, that's um, the other. That's the other one. Yeah, YouTube is making one similar to TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, TikTok has had so much success that all these other social media now are trying to make copies of it. Um, that's how much success TikTok has had. Interesting. Um, Especially Sarah Cooper. If it wasn't for TikTok, I would not know who Sarah Cooper is. Thank God for Sarah Cooper. But at least she's on YouTube, but she hasn't made videos in a long time. And hey, if people get famous, now they can you know, parlay it into other things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I just wish Je uh, Jenna Marbles would come back. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's there's this young girl like uh, all she she mostly just all she does is dancing and her her name's Charlie D'Amelio, she gets famous but she's like the first famous person from TikTok, she has wow. 90 million followers, um she loves drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee, she loves it so much that she now has her own coffee drink, her parents basically worked out a uh, uh an advertising deal, so now Charlie's getting paid from Dunkin' Donuts. For drinking their coffee, they made the, uh, they made a coffee. It's whatever it's whatever coffee that she normally gets. They right. named it after her. They call it the Charlie. So if you go to Dunkin' Donuts and you're like, "Hey, I want the Charlie coffee," that's who it is. It's from her. Wow. And it and it's not just her. Her and her sister, like her sister, has kind of blown up too. Her sister is mostly doing stuff on YouTube as well, and started a singing career or whatever you know. But it's just one of those like. And these are young girls. Like the Charlie's sixteen years old. Her sister is eighteen, and they're already on their way to being multimillionaires uh, just because of um, their what they do on TikTok. Simply mm -hmm. incredible podcast is in the house. How you doing? What's like, up? Hey, what's up? What's incredible. Up? Hey, what's up? Yep. So Wednesdays for now on, we're oh, gonna yeah. get a whiteboard. <laughs> Yeah. I have got to get one of those. Yes, yeah. me too. I yeah. do too. I need to get yeah. one of my door. Yeah. I need to keep notes. <laughs> yeah. So now you guys are going to get the translation in English, Cantonese, and the English translation of the Cantonese. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You should, you know, it'd be cool too is if down the road, if you translated a whole entire Vampirella comic into. Mm. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, or yeah, maybe but, you can you can read you can do like a read along or whatever you can do you can read the um, 
Van Brolo book, and you can yeah, speak that's it gonna in- be a that's gonna be a pain in the butt just just by writing the damn characters is a pain in the butt already because it's it's more than one, and then if you add an extra stroke in it, it could mean something really bad, or it could mean something really good, or yeah, yeah. it could mean something completely opposite of what you were trying to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at all the books around Rob's sh- shoulders there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Unfortunately, awesome. the lights are, you, you can't work with lights when there's yeah. reflective stuff everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, where all that mylar <laughs> reflected off the site. Every <laughs> single one of these is nothing more than a BCW with at least two boards in it, minimum. Yep. Always um. good. <laughs> yep, so I'm getting, uh, I am getting another. Oh yeah, I told you guys I'm getting a Death Dealer from uh, Torpedo Comics. I, I got a Death Dealer issue four from uh, the Frusetta uh, one. Very so, nice. That's gonna be interesting to see. Torpedo had the other day because and, and I, I saw you, Rob. Yeah, I saw oh, you in there. My question. Yeah. Oh, so you know what I'm looking for now? Yeah, here it goes. How much was that thing? And then, dude, they but they have a big collection that they found, or that they, they 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 were talking about that at that warehouse. Dude, they have to split it up to two sale, three sales now, like late night sale on Saturdays. Oh, really? Wednesday. Yeah, they found some huge Bob, collection. What were you looking for? So what they had on the show, and when I'm saying I have some big books coming, I, I'm not joking. Um, yeah. One of the books that's coming is. Did you a, get a, anything from Torpedo? Did you? No, I didn't get one from him. Say uh, it, it again. Was, I, the book this coming is very horny. Wink, wink, nod, nod. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one that's coming is supposed to. Well, it's not coming because uh, wow, that that was a lot of money, and I blew a lot of it on something else. The one that I was asking about was five hundred and twenty-five dollars, and it was a scaly. It was the first appearance of the lizard, or uh, not the lizard? Um, who was it? Chameleon. Scorpion, right? No. Scorp- Scorpion. That's it. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> deal. Yeah. Five twenty-five, and it was like about a four point five, almost a five zero. Yeah, okay. and then uh, what torpedo wanted it for? It was way more uh, than what you paid. <laughs> I know that much. Torpedo wanted oh. like a bu- bunch of money, right? I don't remember. Exactly, I didn't but... get it. Uh, I did not order from him. Uh, it, no. It's not that it was way too much. I mean, it was way too much. But the problem yeah. is with ASM is one of those series that you really can't get from dealers. Right. Uh, you need to get it from people like you and me because right. a dealer is expect top dollar. And oh, really, yeah, they yeah. should because yeah, everybody right. right now wants it. But right. if people like us, we're not trying to get just the keys. We're right. trying to get everything yeah <laughs> I, I you know it's 22 it's like here, you know, you know, what, yeah. Rob. I know i know Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you know what sucks too is like and i feel bad for some of the the comic dealers out there because one of the challenges that comic dealers are dealing with is they're dealing with speculators oh yeah right and you have speculators like the only reason they want a deal from you is so they can get that book away from you turn around oh, and sell yeah, yeah. it Make course, profit but, that, that right. you like the, the dealer themselves originally want yep. versus you know for example you rob you want it for your collection you're not planning to turn around and selling it it's literally going into a good home yeah. you know it, it's like you know it, I, I think well, a lot of, and uh, people are looking for raw so they can send it in get it graded and then flip it to the next highest yeah. bidder me is probably yeah. going to go and be displayed for a little while and then be in a box yeah. displayed yeah. for a little while and in a box yeah. That yeah. I, if i were you rob if i were you like i'm sure you have pictures of your collection if i were you next time you talk to a dealer say listen i'm not going to be buying this book to turn around sell and make a profit mm-hmm. I'm a collector. Here's my collection proof. You know, like I want this book. I want it to, you know, I want to own it. I want to keep it. You know, it's only for me. You know, I think if you do that, if you, cause then dealers will, I think sympathize. They'll say, okay, you're not one of those guys that's trying to rip me off. You're a legit like fan. You want this book. I'll be nice and I'll hook you up. You know, yeah, I think, I, I think that's how deals with the Vampirella magazines because they know I'm not going to get rid of them. So they always try to make me a deal. Yeah, and actually, you're absolutely right, Randall. Uh, there is somebody that I did have that discussion with, 
And it was from the most random sort of thing. It was because, again, Lady Fantastic. She said <laughs> hey, uh, that book that you wanted that I wound up getting like really for cheap, I found it over on this guy's Instagram here. You might want to go check it out. So I wrote to him, and like, hey, that's a great price. And he's like, yeah, I have both the direct and the, the newsstand. I'm like, well, I'll just, it doesn't matter to me, newsstand or direct. I just want right. it wants the highest grade. So I also told him, uh, do you also happen to have ASM? And he sends me this huge ass list. I'm like, I'm probably going to want to uh, get all of those, but it's going to be over some time. And I showed him yeah. a picture of my collection. And he's like, well, that's a lot better than people trying to get it one by one. If that's how you want to do it, however you want to do it. So I go, let's start with the oldest first because I know it's not going to be easy. Yep. All right. Exactly. And I told him like a price point that I'd be willing to start purchasing about every two weeks or so. Sure. Kind of That's like, cool. you know, buying yeah. a layaway, but the layaway is almost a full round of ASM. Uh, yeah. But it, right. he only hears it a little spotty in the hundreds or up from the before hundreds, but after the hundreds, he has almost damn near everything. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I, 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 my goal down the road is eventually like to get all the Spider-Mans as well, but I want to collect all the No, Superman. it's the Supermans more than anything first. Right, right, right. But no, I mean, because <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you remember this, Jeff, but like, so. No, my, I remember my, you were my, you were ASM guy too. I remember that, but I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, my, my two favorite characters in DC are Superman and Green Lantern. Um, mm -hmm. And so when it comes to Marvel, I'd say my top two in Marvel are Spider Man and Captain America. That's so right. those would be like, you know, so once I finish my DC collection, then I'm going to say, okay, you know what? Time to start getting some of these Marvel books, you know, and then, you know, Spider Man yeah, would be. Mine are the weird, cre or the creature ones, the swamp thing, the man oh. thing, and all the, you know. Put William's uh, little thing up in the chat. Yeah, okay. that's true, William. Hmm. There's yeah, no there's worse no feeling than seeing the only issues yep. you need to finish the run suddenly become key or sore out of price range for weeks. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, like this. Like a damn four five is there. <laughs> yeah, like this one. Like before, that used to be a three hundred dollar book in high. Yeah, now it, now it's six. Now it's, up, now it's up to six. Yeah. Six to more. Will William has like one of the coolest collections, man. Like, mm -hmm. and this guy, you know, he. The cool thing is, the majority of his collection, I think, is made up from just dollar bin hunting. You know, so like he was able to complete the majority of his sets just through going through dollar bins. Mm -hmm. um, and so like it's just it's amazing. Like, you know, like every time he he talks about, oh, I just completed this collection or I just completed that. collection. Yeah, there you go. Like, but it's so impressive. You know? mm -hmm. There we go. There you go, buddy. VV. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Slab Jagging is in the house. Look at Whoa. that. You got teeth wow. in the house. Hey, no. dude. <laughs> absolutely buddy yeah yep yeah. i've been yeah i've been tagging tj on every vampirella i've been uh, throwing up yeah all his are slab but <laughs> yeah nice mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Always, oh, always uh, nice to see him yep. so not this upcoming tuesday but the following tuesday they're finally coming out with the last issue of batman three jokers uh, and um, so I double checked the invoice, and uh, and I've already looked on eBay to see what people are selling it for. So there is a variant; it's the one in four hundred and fifty. Um, that means you have to order, you know, at least fifty copies of each of the the premium variants to qualify to get this one variant. Um, so I've already seen people on eBay pre-selling it for like four hundred dollars. Some have sold it for like five hundred, five fifty, six hundred. Why not? Um, so I'm actually I'm hoping it's in good enough shape that I'm actually going to try to submit it to CDC and then find out, uh, mm -hmm. you know, unless, you know, somebody out of nowhere is like, I'll buy it raw. I'll buy it now. Here's the money. Mm -hmm. then, then I'd be like, uh, OK. Randall, Merry Christmas, uh, Randall. Here's 500. OK. Because <laughs> I know I know that not every comic book store got it. I know that because I know that not every comic book store got all the premium variants. So I am very happy to be one of those retailers that gets the one in 450. I mean, it's not the greatest or nicest looking, you know, cover ever, 
Um, it's basically just a collage of all the covers from the the three Jokers that Jason Fabok did, and it's slapped on to like the front and back of the book. Um, you know, I, I think people are just going to be more um, excited for getting it just because of the the rarity of that. Right. that variant. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised TJ is even in here. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That tells you yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that surprised me that out of man. nowhere. Yeah. What's that, bud? Rob, what'd you say? Gray no, I just what the man has going on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, I did, I did yeah. not expect this year to have to I get uh, almost all my keys this year. Almost every single key off of that uh, Grail, Grail video list. Almost. It's just the uh, newer ones that uh that, that are like nothing I can actually. <laughs> so twenty twenty's been a good year for you. Yeah, pretty much. That's thanks good. Thanks to thanks to uh, thanks to Steve, pretty much Steve, right. Hialeah, all of those guys. If it wasn't for all of them, uh, my list would be like. Yeah. You you just come up with a new list. <laughs> That's what's gonna end up happening anyways. Twenty twenty one is a whole new list. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I mean that's I, I, I guess that's part of the fun, you know, like yeah. I can I mean it's real I always find it intriguing. Like I remember there was a customer back when I worked at another comic book store. This guy came in and he was just like looking through back issues for Fantastic Four issues. And we started chatting and uh, he's like, Yeah, he's like, This is my third time and I was like confused. I was like, What do you mean third time? He's like, This is my third set. He's like, I've had two sets before, wow. um, complete, complete runs of Fantastic Four, and uh, he sold them. You know, so he, he what he does is he he goes, he hunts for the books, he gets the issues, he completes a set, then he turns around, he sells it, and then he goes and he keeps you know he keeps building sets. You know, so right, like, right. I, and this was years ago, so I'm pretty confident by now he's probably finished his third set, sold it, <laughs> and probably on his fourth set now. You know, so it's like, but it's always, it's, it's always kind of like, and I guess it's the hunt. People like going to the stores. They like hunting. They like getting deals. They like putting together this set. You know, it's just a, it's a hobby, you know? Oh, and, uh, I wish these I wish Warrens these were easier were to find in stores <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, stores like that, they rarely exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's like trying to find a store that sells vinyl. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a few of those here in in in, uh, in Tampa. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Sound Exchange sells vinyl. Then there's like a Mojo Books and Records. Right. Um, they sell vinyl. Vinyl um, and comic books now, and and older books. So that's pretty interesting. Which one, Mojo Books? Yeah. And They're selling books. comic books or graphic novels. Graphic novels and some comic books. And oh, even uh, yeah, same thing even with not, Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look at what TJ got. Ooh. What's this? Yeah. Wow. Old label CVC. Just met. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. nice. Why people want those old CGC labels so they can crack yeah. them bastards open and get a better grade. Yeah. Almost each and every time. No always, one was always. cleaning. No one was yeah. pressing. Yep. Yeah, I'm scared to even open this one and then try to clean it or anything. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. Sweet. You never know. Come back to somebody. Yeah. Give you a whole bump, maybe a bump. You never know. Yeah, a whole bump, yeah. But the the the, the spine ticks are, are you know are color breaking so they, they won't do nothing really. But you can't they might clean it. That, but you can do something about the the, the crinkliness of it. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. Yeah. So eh. I mean, I've, eh. no, three is the one I want. Oh, actually, let me grab three. The three is the one I want to get pressed and cleaned and actually graded. I, but there's already, like, there's a crease in the on the cover, but I got it for a pretty great deal, so. Right. Nice. But there, my leg fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cute. Uh, Jim Boatwright's family, uh, little boat. He had, um, what was it? Must have been six LPs, old vinyls, of all Beatles. That was so awesome. He was showing me all the other day. It was pretty cool. Old Beatles, and he's getting into the Beatles like um, little crossovers in comic books. Nice. And, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Little boat. Little boat. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. 
So yeah, this is the one I want to get pressed, graded. But there's already like a small crease in the in the cover right here, but it's okay Put though. Your gloves Ooh. on. Okay, you got it in mylar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it in mylar. I didn't take it out. <laughs> I, I know better. <laughs> But you see the crease on it. I so. see it. I can see the one right smack in the middle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's I still I'm still happy to have it, so I don't Absolutely, brother. No, I Yeah, I'm it. still gonna press it and clean it and try to get, you know, try to get, you know, the best grade I can for it. What does it really matter? It's your personal collection. Yeah. Not gonna, yeah. you know, not gonna go anywhere. Right. I'm gonna end up pressing and cleaning it. And then just grid. Yeah, I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do another grand experiment and clean up a book. It's coming in the mail yet. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, for TJ. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Hello. Yeah, so, so yeah, since I brought this one out, you know, so if, you, if you're going to get it, you might as well get this one as slabbed and I the virgin right. version of this. And so you would have to, if you're a vampy fan and you got one, you have to get the other one. <laughs> so Jeez. if I have a problem with anything with that dynamite number one cover is the fact she's too fleshy looking. Yeah. She needs to be more pale. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like she's never been exposed to any sunlight from the front. And uh, I don't know, like tanning salon. Uh, yeah. And maybe, maybe she has the Donald Trump tan, you know, like uh, That's probably what happened. She just didn't have enough time to finish the front. The orange yeah. vampirilla. <laughs> or, or she just bathed in blood. And it's, it, that's what the color is from the back. <laughs> run to something. Yeah. Maybe she fell on a bunch of Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, but the this issue three was nice to get, man. Like actually I got three uh because I got a three and a whole whole run pretty much for a pretty good price. He goes, Oh yeah. yeah. I'll offer three for I go, if I bring you a hundred bucks for three, would you take it? Because and I looked up how much like uh one like this looked and how much it was. Yeah. He goes, a hundred? I'll take it. I'm like, ooh, okay, here. <laughs> I'm like, I got a really good deal on it because this is a low printed book. Yeah, because issue three is a low printed book. So Yeah, yeah. One well, of the lower I'm, I'm gonna go guys. Uh, see you later. A lot of fun. Peace you yeah. guys. Yeah. Uh, we're hopping off in a little bit anyways you, in a couple yeah. of minutes. So yeah. Take so we're hot. See you later. Good to see you, man. You too. Oh, good to see you, Rob. I was just about to ask for Varengian. He's looking for Death's Head. I, I know exactly what he's looking for. I have never seen that personally ever. Uh, the Transformers. Yeah, me either. One thirteen. Yeah, me either. I haven't. I haven't seen one yet. Yet, but it doesn't mean I'm, we won't see one. I'd pay fifty <laughs> bucks for that. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah. Good luck finding it. Yeah. It's like trying to find any of the Captain Britons in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So maybe uh maybe uh Grayman can keep an eye out eye out for him. Yeah, that's the one. Yellow cover. Yeah. But I'm I'm excited. I can't wait to get this thing pressed and cleaned and actually get it graded to see what, what it comes back as. Ah, that yeah, one. That one. Nice. Hold on, I'll make him be, make you bigger. Yep. There you go. This one says on Key Collector app that people are paying like a hundred and twenty-five dollars for it. Wow. That might be a little much for me. Um, but when did it come out? This came out in May of nineteen eighty-seven. But uh, it's UK. We don't get that kind of stuff here. Right. If and if you guys do, we're gonna play an arm and a leg for that stuff. Well, that Captain Britain, what is it? Issue eight, the first uh yeah. not Psylocke, but Betsy Braddock. Looks, Just for the character itself, where she has no powers, it's kind of like right. Captain Marvel, the uh, Carol right. uh, Carol Danvers. Nothing happens, she's just some blonde in the book. Right. Hey, one of the guys three hundred for low grade. Right. Yeah. Oh, Rob, you probably know about this. You know about the, um, is it Mexican? I think there was the um, Amazing Spider-Man Mexican uh, issues. Mex yeah, about where yeah, one Stacy never died. And he's alive and gets married to Peter. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I got a friend that goes to Mexico all the time. So I go, hey, if you ever go to Mexico and never see it, man, I, I give me one. <laughs> like, Rob, whenever you, you, you see like Spider-Hombre or a Rana-Hombre, you pick that shit up. 
sight yeah. unseen. I've told I've told him that too. I've told him a couple of times. Do you, you have any of those issues? Goose egg. Zero. Oh man. But I know uh, I've seen a couple I, I got, here in Miami, yeah. but they've been going for like fifty, eighty dollars. And I don't know what issues are expensive and what aren't, but I yeah. know to pick up ones that are like for a deal, but I'm not gonna be paying extra money for things that I don't know anything about. Right. When I worked at CBCS, there was a guy named Tim Bildhauser. And Tim Bildhauser was basically the the foreign comics expert. You know, okay. so that's all he was collecting was he was collecting foreign editions of like Marvel and DC titles and, and, uh, you know, independent titles, but for the most part, like, and they, they would keep records of it. So anytime like someone sent in like a, uh, you know, a book from a different country, he, we always went to him. He was the expert on it. And, um, and so like, he would say like, you know, if it was like a reprint of this issue or this or that, that, and this. Um, but for the most part, you know, you might want to get in touch with that guy one day. If you ever uh, see him on like social media or at a convention, um, he's just he's just an expert. He knows all about all the different foreign titles. He he, there's like a foreign edition of Swamp Thing, and he knows for a fact it's extremely extremely low print run. And I remember him telling me that he's like, I have almost every issue. He's like, I just need like one or two issues. And he's like, I got a complete foreign. I don't know if it was like a UK. I don't think it was the UK. I I forget what it was. Uh, Italian maybe. Uh, it was just one of those like it's crazy these foreign editions you know but the spider-man ones i hadn't i didn't know about until i saw like um comic documentary tom. or huh? comic tom comic tom that's how i learned no no I, I didn't see that from comic tom i think it was like a documentary or was, like somebody was like they're talking about like spider-man books or marvel books and or right foreign editions or whatever and uh they mentioned like how you know in this other country they were like we want to keep making spider-man but we we don't like they didn't want to kill off Gwen. Like no, no, no. We, we, you know. And then they got permission from Marvel. Like yeah, go ahead, write your own. We have our own artists. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like that. It's cool that they did that. They uh, they need to collect those and trade. And then even better, they need to make American versions of it. You there know? are like, people. You can look it up. There are people out there on Twitter that are trying to put together a project where they don't care about getting the first appearances, first issues. They don't even care about getting the actual printed format. They're like, if you had this shit, try and scan this in yeah. the best you yeah. can. Pictures. We will translate it page by page so that we can get it out there to the public, even if it's yeah. a free PDF. I'm like, I am totally for this project. The more I find uh, out, uh, yeah. I'll let y'all yeah. know. But. I remember hearing about this about a year ago and just have not looked up any information since. But I know people yeah. out there actively trying to do that. Yeah, if I if, honestly, if I were Marvel, I would try to get a hold of those and then just like reprint them in English. And, um, you know, I think like collectors, you know, like they go crazy for those reprints. They go yeah. crazy for those those issues, those reprints, and then, you know, then they can, and not to mention they'll make most of their money on just selling it as the graphic novels, the trade paperbacks, and, like, all the old school Spider-Man fans would love to, to read those, and right. um, I was talking to one of my Facebook friends, uh, Larry Young, um, he was, like, an independent publisher um, in the, the 90s, um, and what's cool is uh, he's a fan of John Byrne, and apparently John Byrne has been making his own X-Men comics, and um, somehow somebody was able to collect all of his fan-made um, issues and put it into a hardcover or trade paperback. And uh, and apparently John Byrne was not happy that someone had did that. Uh, oh well, he's not getting paid. John Byrne, man. John John's like these are mine. You can't have these. He was also a little dickish as a human being in person, from what I've heard from many 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 sources. Yeah. yeah. I I mean. It would be so great to just see a psychiatrist have a conversation with John Byrne and kind of just figure out why he's like that, you know, because I remember like um, hearing that even like if you go to get something signed by him, he's very, very strict on what he signs. Like If it's a reprint of something, he will stamp that shit instead of sign it. Yeah, he'll stamp it. Yeah. That's um, messed up. <laughs> yeah. We can't I mean, afford like, the real one, man. What the hell? I would say we can't afford the real one. So yeah, yeah if, you it's won't Superman comic, if it's a Superman comic, like let's say I wanted to get a blank cover signed by him, right. he won't sign it because he's like, I didn't work on that book. Right. You know, like he will oh, only sign on. Second. Thanks for that book. Let me let me see here. Wait, what's this shit here? Let me 
fuck this stupid pen here. Yeah. Like I, 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 you, you don't even treat it well. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I've shown it to you before, but like I have a DC's Guide to Writing Comics by Denny O'Neill, and my right. goal is to get uh, a lot of like my favorite writers to sign it. And um, because John Byrne is such a huge influence on the changes and the updates of you know Superman post Crisis, part of me was like, because originally I was like, I don't care for, about getting his signature, but then I started thinking like, you know what, I should get his signature, but then I'm hearing that he won't sign anything unless he's worked on the book. So now, like, even if I want him to sign this book, he'll probably be like, nope, I didn't work on that book. You know, so, like, even though I just, I just want to get a collection of all the, the writers that I respect and I like, you know. Um, so it's one of those, like, I don't know. I think one day I'll give it a try. Same thing with um, this. Just to see what yeah. The same thing with this is uh, anybody that had anything to do with Vampirella, you know, have them sign it. Like, even even if I meet Sarah Frizetta, I want Sarah Frizetta to sign it because – that's yeah. you know that's a Frizetta in in the book so yeah. <laughs> at least oh yeah yeah everybody that's worked on that book absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. you know what's funny but, too like, the the birth of the variants comic right mm -hmm. do you know what issue that was what comic was that that basically spawned the the variants that we have now uh -uh. Man of Steel number one by John yes Byrne. you got it Rob Man of Steel number one which John Byrne mm. worked on. You know, so it's like it's amazing how that series that he worked on, that was the beginning of variants. Yep. You know, that you can get that, signed by him. I that could get that. That that infamous this uh, infamous thing was. I took it to Buzz, the artist. He goes, "Oh yeah, you know, I'm in this art book. I go, I want you to sign it anyways. I know you. You know, you've done a couple of you know pieces. Yeah. Oh, you know, a couple of, nice, the answer no, is but, you deserve to be. Yeah, and then. The funny thing was, oh, Dynamite don't like me, and all this. Uh, the, the, he told me the whole story behind it, and then he starts. The funny thing was, he tells me the story, and then he starts doing this number in there. I'm like, uh oh, yeah. this is gonna cost me some money. And I'm like, eh, I, 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 I wouldn't, I didn't care. I would have paid him, but I'm just saying. All I see is him doing it. I'm like, I see an eye, I, I see his, uh, like a face. I'm like, uh oh. If you know, when you see someone doing that, don't say anything. And then if they try to charge you, be like, I didn't ask you to do this. Yeah. But, but I didn't think you were actually going to do it. We didn't agree on anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, though. Yeah, I, you know but, what? That, that would be such a dick move. Like, if I, was a, if, if I was an artist and I wanted to be an asshole and I saw, like, a graphic novel that I liked and I want to keep it, I would draw in it and be like, all right, the drawing's uh, 100 bucks. It's like, I don't have 100 bucks and I didn't ask you to draw. Oh, well, then I'm keeping your book, pal. <laughs> <laughs> but, but afterwards, then that person now has a really shitty story to tell about a creator. Oh, yeah. No, but it was but it was funny because Buzz does it and Buzz goes because he goes yeah because Dynamite don't like me and I'm not in the book I go but you deserve to be and then I go no I go and then uh, after he got done I go well now you're in the book <laughs> yeah yeah he's like I'm not in the book but I am now yeah yeah oh, and no, he's Buzz, done it I worked at a convention one time yeah and Buzz had a bunch of like art prints and I left think he over just, I remember yeah yeah he didn't want to he, take them home like, here you go guys take them there you go Brandon yeah. yeah. They don't yeah, charge yeah. Uh, twenty bucks in the hero initiative jar. Yeah. 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 If you do that, yeah. But a lot of time, it was funny because he does that. He goes, "I go, what I owe you, Buzz." He goes, "No, oh, nothing." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, he, I he, met him. I met him like four times, so it's like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Same here. Like he does a lot of conventions. He yeah. works his ass off. He hustles. Yeah. Yeah. He's. Um, he's he, he has his morals, you know? Yeah. He has his thing where he's a stand-up guy. He, If you do something that he's like, that's a scumbag move, he'll say it. He'll, he'll call yeah, you he'll out. Yeah, he'll, he'll call you out on it. He'll go, you're a scumbag, da 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 da, da. There was one, yeah. there was, uh, well, he told me the story about this the convention he did, that he saw something of Neil's, that Neil Adam, because since Neil Adam was a teacher of his, he saw yeah, yeah. one of Neil's pieces that was, that was, a, the guy had it on the cover, but this thing was only a, uh, uh, it was only uh, at DC's office. There was a big um, a mural at the office, yeah. but somehow it ended up on a on a print. He goes, "Yeah, why?" Is he goes, and then he goes to the convention people. He goes, "Hey, you might want to boot this guy because this guy is copying art onto you know onto and paper." Selling, and, yeah. yeah, and he's selling it. Yeah. <laughs> and Buzz yeah, goes, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, artists hate that because yeah. uh, how many times have artists their artwork's been stolen from them? You know, right. someone takes their art 
and they, they're passing it off like they did it or right. they're just selling it, you know? And it's like, and none of that money goes to the artist. Right. You know, so like artists are upset about that, you know? But, I, but, then, but they, honestly, you know, like Buzz, Buzz is uh, cool and Buzz like telling us the story, like always telling me the stories and stuff like that. But I love hearing stories from him too, man. I wish I oh, could actually get him on here. I wish I could actually yeah. get it. I've emailed him a couple of times. I wish I could actually get him on here and actually talk to him about it. Yeah, yeah. It would be cool, man, just to have him. Because I met him, dude, I've met him three, four times already. And then anytime he sees me, he goes, hey, <laughs> you know, and yeah. I'll even bring people by him and they're like, hey, look. Oh, yeah. this is oh it, dude, yeah, I, yeah. I thought about like, I thought about getting a, a store exclusive variant, like a Power Rangers book. Cause he's shown me some art that he's done. He's done some like store exclusive variants. Dude, he showed he showed me a Vampirella uh, print, uh, uh, not print, but a Vampirella commission he did. Dude, that yeah, thing yeah. is beautiful. That thing had all oh, the yeah. Universal monsters' heads on on spikes and stuff, and and it's her yeah. sitting there. It's it's freaking great. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, when when my comic book business is doing well enough, man. Because <coughs> uh, I know I know Dynamite and IDW, they're very affordable. And right. boom, you know, because right. they're smaller publishers, they don't yeah. require you to order as many books to get an exclusive right. variant. You know, like you can get 500 copies or a thousand copies. Right. You know, you order that many copies, like, cool, you have your own store exclusive. This is what you have to pay us, you right. know. And then it's just a matter of getting an artist to do the cover. Because, um, I mean, I asked Buzz about, because uh, Buzz did like one of the books for Boom Studios. Right. And Buzz, came, came, he came right out and was like, listen, the, the publishers do not pay us a lot of money to do these covers. Nope. Um, he basically I've says, we make, we make most of our money um, selling the original art, you know? And then, uh, you know, and then whatever deal that that artist makes with the publisher, because, like, the, the, the artist is going to get some copies of the variants, so they themselves can turn around. They can take those Sell variants it. to convention. They well, can sign he's told, me, he's to, he's told me a bunch of horror stories about the dynamite, man. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not just him, man. Like Dynamite is very, very frugal. They're very yeah. like they don't want to. They don't want to put out the money. And when they right. do, they they take their sweet time paying the people. Right, right. You know, I've heard it from. I, I've heard it from Tyndall. I've heard it from Buzz. I've heard it from everybody. Yeah, so it's like interesting. That's why Dynamite um, doesn't grow. They don't grow because they're burning all these bridges. You know, you know all this talent that's working for them. They're you know having such bad experiences. Right. Um, you know. And having the leader of Dynamite pretty much nightlight with uh, a certain EVS and yeah. having yeah. people go, but I really have nothing to do with him. Okay, I support everything he stands for, but I have nothing to do with him. Okay, I don't support anything that he does. Right. But really, hey, no matter you whether you fall on under the line of those that like that guy EVS or yeah. people that are completely against him and right. what he stands for, no matter what, both sides agree right. creators' rights are something that damn well should be uh, respected and paid. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, artists, um, they have to, you know, like writers can keep making money, but artists on the other hand, it's different for them, you know? Um, right. You know, they, it's, it's strange. And this is why, like, I understand why a lot of artists, they're trying to get opportunities to where they can be writers. Um, right. So they can be like co-writers or writers, you know, cause then what happens is when the, when the book sells, once it turns, once it's turned into a graphic novel and the book sells, they get a more percentage or they at least get some kind of money from um, the book sales. Um, but I think when you're an artist, like, you know, cause they pay artists up front a good chunk of money, you know? So because they pay yeah, them, it's good. like, you know, like we already paid you for the work, you know, like we're not going to keep paying you, um, for the series because it's like, we already paid you more than, you know, cause like writers don't get paid as much per book as artists right. do, right. but writers can, because they're writers, they can work on two, three, four different books. Right. At the same time. So technically they do end up in the long run making more money than the artist. Um, An artist can really only do about one page a day. Yeah. Usually if you're really good, one page is like a solid goal to achieve. Uh, some artists that are really, really detailed, it might take like two days even to do. Right. If you're really fast, you might be able to crank out like two or three pages a day. Or you could be like Cano from like the yeah. early 2000s that was working on pretty much every goddamn Marvel book. And he was so burned out and his art looked like trash. 
and uh, no one wanted to read anything by him. Well, so it's, you know, you see what vigilante oh, and, and, so and, much and, and, and then some of these artists, depending on how much they're getting paid, they're hiring ghost artists to kind of like handle all the background, like you know, draw right. the buildings here, draw the you know the scenery, oh, draw this. Draw like, but I'm going to on the creator of Berserk yeah. does that. Here, draw all my backgrounds, and he gets right. like some of the greatest background artists you've ever seen. But it doesn't match the art anymore. Right. No, no. All right, guys. I, I'm. We're going on two hours. I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm yeah, getting a little yeah, hungry. Let's call yeah. It. Let's call it. All right. All right. Well, I, Rob, what you got going on? Oh, but my bad. Not not me. <laughs> you. Screw <laughs> Rob. Rob sucks. Uh, <laughs> actually, the worst. In fact, my name is Rob Worst. Hi, everybody. My name's Rob Worst. I do a show called Not Near Mint. It stars Lady Fantastic, Miracle Man, and Comics on the Mind. We do it every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This week, we might be doing an FMK, but I have to talk with Lady Fantastic about it. It's over 18, so uh, if you're under 18, uh, make sure you tell nobody and you just... <laughs> All right, what you got going on, Randall? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um... If uh, you know, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Uh, I'm on TikTok. Uh, you know, you need uh, to you need to change your handle to DC Randall. That's what you need to change it to. So yeah, yeah. Everybody no, can I, find I, you. I, I, well, actually, what I need to do is I need to create the handles for those as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can find me. It's Randall Begins. Um, is my Facebook, my social media name, my normal social media name. Right. Um, and then of course there's my businesses. So like you know, Blank Variant Comics. Uh, comic book collectors league right um so you you know you can find me on there and uh, on those social medias yep and then you guys all know mine is cantonese comic wednesdays every wednesday right and now you guys are gonna get pretty decent thing is i got a whiteboard so you guys can actually yeah. learn how to say it and write it so that's gonna be kind of fun but I'm going to have everything. This is the the word of the week anyways. Since I taught you guys how to say comic book last time. I'm showing you guys how to write it and how to say it. So that's going to be pretty cool. It's awesome. So that, yep, that's it done. And then Extreme Nerd Table every Sunday. Then Silver Age Sundays every morning. Or every uh, every morning on Sundays. Then Robert G's uh, Late Night Show. That's pretty much it, and then I have some other stuff coming up, but I'm work I'm working on them, and I'm editing, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. yep, when I get some time. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching Extreme Nerd Table. We're signing out. Cool. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hold on. Don't die. No, no, hold on.